Peace, peace, peace. This is the Views from the Seven podcast, episode two. Before we begin, we're going to have a quick introduction of ourselves. I'm your guy, Spence. To my left is the homie T Fats. Yo. To the right, my guy, Ivan. AKA Positive Pete. We want to thank you all for the love, man. Whether that's listening, following, sharing, we are all full of gratitude. Let's get into it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, fellas, what up? What's good? Happy Valentine's Day to all the beautiful ladies. Yeah. Man. And the ugly ones, too. You deserve love as well. It's Valentine's Day, man. Shout out to all the fellas that's looking forward to a lot of tricking tonight. And the side pieces. Your day is tomorrow. Be patient. What y'all doing for Valentine's Day, man? I ain't got nothing planned. Yeah, me either. I kind of had something lined up, but then that fell through, so I'm just going to do what I do every night. No, it's Valentine's Day. i probably go get some Chipotle, you know what I mean, splurge on the queso. You know, the queso is like $5 with the with the big bag of chips. So I go <laughs> the chicken burrito with the queso with the big bag of chips. And uh, go home and throw on uh, Lord of the Rings then, you know, finish it off with a little self-pleasure. And, and I want to say happy oh. birthday to my baby girl, Taraji. Oh, man, happy birthday, happy baby birthday, girl. birthday, Taraji. Man, I'm so glad wifey don't give a fuck about this shit today, man. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of figured that because you was kind of like on my head a little bit. I was like, they must don't celebrate man, this shit because manufacture love ass day, man. Facts. Niggas out here getting Gucci belts. I'm <laughs> gonna <laughs> <laughs> portray my love by giving you a Gucci belt, man. Man, I just, I, I feel bad for the fellas who women like really out here giving them pussy as a gift. Like, hey, man, this uh, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, this yeah. is the first. Uh, the first Valentine's Day for the Me Too with the Me Too movement. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fellas, don't be asking to just put the head in. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> if you got if it gets that far, man, just let it go. Oh, uh, walk man. away, man. Bef- before we get too far into it though, I wanna um I wanna say condolences to the families out in Florida with the school shooting that happened today. Uh, you know, that's a terrible situation and you know, as a parent I couldn't imagine what it would feel like to be uh, you get that phone call and say there's a shooting at your child's school. So um, just, you know, everybody in Florida, keep your head up. If you're listening, if you can hear me, uh, much love. Prayers go out to y'all. Man. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. Blessings to y'all. Yeah, man. God bless the dead, man. It's, that sucks. Man, I terrible. can't even imagine. I, well, I can imagine, uh, you know, going through tragedy of my own. But, uh, man, that phone call is a bitch, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Is. That phone call's a bitch. But uh yeah, man, let's get back to it, man. Is uh is Valentine's Day a hustle? Is it a corporate America hustle? Pretty much. Like every other holiday, you know, it's manufactured. So, you know, we just trying to sell as many teddy bears, as much chocolate, as much whatever. It ain't no it ain't no real holiday if they not if TVs ain't on sale though. They don't put TVs on sale for Valentine's Day, so fuck them. Yeah, but man, vanity is a motherfucker, man. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? Well, shout probably. out to Shout out to President's Day though. President's Day right around the corner. TV's gonna be on sale. President's Day, so fuck Valentine's Day. Yeah, every holiday is a consumer holiday. That's Absolutely. how America gets you. Facts. And we be what they what's what's the next holiday? St. Patrick's Day. President's Day is Monday. That's why. You know, oh, is that shit. a real holiday though? Yeah. In the school on Monday. I'm all. I got a five day weekend. No, Shout out I to said. the motherfucking school district for this five days. You, you motherfuckers is the real yeah, MVP. Shout out to the plantation. There you go. dumbass kids. <laughs> Um, but man, you know what I mean, you know, searching the internet and all that, man, I've recently come across, you know, a non Europe Europeanized day called Black Love Day. What day is that? Uh it's it's celebrated on the thirteenth, uh, you know, created by the goddess uh Ayo Handi Kendi. She founded it was founded in nineteen ninety three. Uh it, it encouraged us to demonstrate, celebrate. And celebrate love, offer forgiveness to yourself and the others, and to accept the five black love tenets. Uh, the, fa- the five black love tenets are to show love for the creator, okay. uh, love for yourself, your family, love for the black community, and the black race. I fuck with that. I like it. You know I like it. It's booming on Twitter. You know, I'm here for it. You know. This is the first I, I heard of this. Like, why was me why, too? We should have talked about this shit last yeah. week so we could have celebrated in time. She Word. Said, um, Watching the watching the Malcolm X movie, man, riding the bus home from watching that movie, you know, gave her the energy to put it together, man. And now it's it's booming, 
and that's, I'm here for it. That's dope. I just I don't like the date though. Like, don't put it right before Valentine's. Like, let's let's have our own separate entity. Like, kind of how they put Kwanzaa right oh, after Christmas. Man. Like, let's, if we're gonna do something, let's do it on our we own. We rebels, time. man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's why I think you know. I can dig that part of it. I'm definitely not one for authority, so I'm yeah. with. But um, man, that shooting just fucks me up, man. I, that shit's terrible. It's you terrible. Know, that's in my mind, man. It's, it's 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 fucked up, man. It's been a lot of it's been a lot of school shootings lately, man. I don't know what's going on, but it's been an uptick of shootings, elementary, junior high, and high school. Man, the kids ain't safe, man. I'm shit. If I had the money too, I would take my kids out of school and homeschool them, like do that online school, cause it's crazy, man. That's the one place your kids supposed to feel safe. Now they can't, you know what I mean? How the fuck I'm supposed to pass this math class if it's a bullet in my ass? Man, yeah. I feel you. Um, we gonna get off of that, man. Yeah, you know, I'm on this little drink. Yeah, I'm feeling before feeling I good. get my feelings. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike Pence, man. I don't even want to call him the vice president. Mike Pence, four uh, five homeboy. Yeah. I don't want no smoke with North Korea at all. He uh, he refused to stand for the uh, for the at the Winter Olympics for the Korean anthem. Hmm. That sounds yeah. funny. I, 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 there's a story about Mike Pence and not standing. What, what could that possibly be? Cap. Very interesting. Oh, okay. That's the motherfucker who got mad and walked out of the what, the 49ers and the Colts? Yep. Condemned him from uh, yeah. oh, from now, protesting at a sporting event. Now he don't want to stand. Hmm. What do you call those people? Hypocrite. Hypocrite. There Facts. you go. Okay. Hey, man, but fuck Mike Pence. FBI, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That was, yo, that was Spence, yo. by the way. Don't come, for me. Don't come for me, man. <laughs> if you couldn't distinguish the voice, that was Spence, <laughs> by the man, way. Man, but what's going on, fellas? Man, shit. Just, yeah, just chilling. Trying to live life, man. Got, you know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, get through to my son. He you know, he ain't taking his education as seriously as, as he could be, as he should be. So, hey, man. You know, we was, uh, he think I'm playing about putting these hands on him. So, you know, we this whole weekend, I think I went to like three different boxing gyms and was like, hey. I need to set up a little sparring match. He think I'm playing with him. I'm really gonna get some gloves. Uh, hey, at one put point, these paws man, on they, me, man. At one point, they challenge you. Yeah. Oh, they, they do. They do. And he thinks he's so smart. Like, dude, you sound like a dumbass. You can't tell him that because it's your kid. You gotta be. You you're supposed to be in charge of their well being and their self esteem and all that bullshit. But like, he really be. He really think he's smart. Like, like we got into an argument, and like, mm-hmm. dude, try to tell me like, yeah, the weekends. Are b- okay, mind you, just pause real quick. This is before Man in the Woods came out, so I want to preface it with that because we're not going to bring that album. Right? Again. Yeah. So it was like he was like, "Yeah, The Weeknd's a better artist than Justin Timberlake because he has more YouTube views." I was like, "Word? Hey, that's, is that how they is that how they the gauge artists now, man. That's in, the in 2018?" Lane. I was like, "So okay, well, like you you like a big Montana 300 fan? Is Post Malone better than Montana 300 because he has more YouTube views?" And you can kind of tell it burned him in his ass to have to admit. Yeah, that his yeah. argument was flawed, but he was kind of like stuck to his guns. Was like, yep, that's what it means. Like, you're a dumbass. Go, 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 take a bath because you stink. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you, just, you know, my son's giving me a little bit of a headache, but I'm gonna figure this shit out though. Can't fail him. Hey man, fast what up? Not much, just chilling, feeling good right now. Nothing's up. Not much. Hey man, me man. Both y'all eyes red. They they in here drinking this rosé. They eyes hey, red look, as a motherfucker. Man. Shout out to Bel Air. Shout out to Uber. Cut the check. <laughs> she about to get a phone call around this motherfucker, man. Yeah, um, man, have y'all ever seen a, a comedian or a, a singer bomb? Not at all. No, not in person. I've seen. Oh uh, man, man, wife and I went to this poetry joint, man, and this corny ass motherfucker come up in here on his KC shit, man. It's, Ooh yeah, <laughs> man, he did that shit like five times, bro. And everybody looking at him like, man, what the f- get your motherfucking ass off the stage. It's it's not real. They didn't really bomb unless there was He bombed, bro. If they don't throw food or they bo- Dude, don't boo, you gotta it's not real. if you gotta fucking say his name twice so the audience can clap. Did they did they that clap? That is a fucking bomb. Did they clap? Yeah, looking at his phone like a Oh, that counts. Oh, hey, whatever it oh hell no. Nah. He counts. knew it too. He knew it too, man. It was all bad. If they don't throw, if they don't throw inanimate objects or they don't boo specifically, man, then you didn't nah, bomb. You just didn't do bad. good. He it, was he. 
Yeah, he needs some more practice, man. Well, and then it was a comedian, man. It's the fucked up thing because he's he was social. He was socially awkward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So socially awkward motherfuckers are funny, anyways. Yes, true. But, you know, he wasn't black. And then the first thing oh, you good, do, good, good. but the first thing you do is try to say a black joke in a place oh, where it's no. hundreds of black people. Oh yeah, to no. try to like warm things up. And they're already like, <laughs> oh my get God. your fat ass off the stage. Oh, my God. Right? See, I need to be present for you. And then, boy. you know, he tried to go to the fat jokes, and it just so happened it was the biggest lady ever in the front row. Man, she, if looks can kill, <laughs> like, she was just wanted to jump up and strangle this motherfucker. Like, she was just staring at him for about 10 minutes. What was his name? You want, what was his name? Hey, I don't even know, man. Wife, you kept laughing and shit, right? <laughs> Making it hella fucking awkward. So I'm like, please just stop laughing. Please. Did just she stop think it was laughing. funny? Or was it like an awkward? Like, no, it was what? like, man, this nigga is bombing. Yeah, that sounds like something. It's I would all do. bad. But hey, man, shout out to him, man. Um, man, the sports side of the game, man. How Trade about, deadline. How about those Cavaliers? Man, before we get to that, man, y'all see Sammy Sosa? God damn. He looks terrible. Like a white man in Texas. That's <laughs> crazy. Hey, man. Damn, Sammy. <laughs> Sammy Sosa trying to be on the, he to be on the next episode of Narcos. Around this <laughs> but it's like his man. hair texture changed, too. Dude, like, I God, like, I get know. the vitiligo. Like, you know you're having a skin disease. Sammy Sosa look like an eraser. Bro. <laughs> like, how, does your, how does your hair texture change, too? Like, that's just terrible. Man, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. Man, hey, self hatred is a motherfucker. Yeah, man. Man. Word. Your boy, um, Jimmy Garoppolo. Yes, 137, 49ers. We on the move, baby. Shout out to his fucking agent. Oh, man. Absolutely. For finessing the fuck out of the 49ers. Absolutely. absolutely. Hey, we're going to look at it as a good investment. That's how we're going to view How that many situation. games he played? Like five, six, played maybe? Six, five, five or six, but he won every game. He's there. You get this man the most guaranteed money in history off of six games. Listen though, like it happened. It's happened before. We seen what happened with Jeremy Lin. Like it's happened. They didn't give him the most. They didn't give him the most guaranteed yeah, money. Yeah, but they gave him forty ever. M's. Forty M's was a big was a big amount of money at the time. And plus, you know, it was like he's not doing anything spectacular. Like if you if you gave the ball to Jr. Smith, he probably could have did the exact same thing Jeremy Lin was doing. So he's on the 49ers? Jimmy G, yes, absolutely. Yeah, so is this know. a spinning caps face? Uh, I don't. You know what? Because I think when Cap got his contract, it was the biggest car- contract at the time as well. Yeah, but six games. Yeah, but you know what? Like, it's like chemistry is a hard thing to come by. So if like if I if one guy can come in like we're zero and nine, and this one cat comes in, and we all of a sudden go from this probably the second worst team in the league a, to like we go on a six game winning streak, that's that's a big that's a huge deal. I heard he's a very good. Uh, he's very Tom Brady esque and. On the mental side of the game, and, and he and they just, like playing for him. Yeah, there you go. But six fucking games, you get this man the most guaranteed money ever for six games. That is finessing the they, sh- The people who should be mad it should be like Aaron Rodgers and motherfuckers like that. Like, are you oh, they, that bag is coming. Oh, they around. A, yeah, but you got you got Aaron Rodgers, Matt Ryan. They gave they gave Andrew Luck a hundred M's, and he's terrible. He can't even no, stay healthy that's, though. That's the Colts though. What do you mean? Because they, they're cutting his career short. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a Colts fan. That offensive oh, line, man, bro. I, I ain't watched this year. That offensive fuck the NFL. line. Hey, fuck the NFL. Yeah, I, I've been boycotting this year, so I can't really I'm speak on contradict. it. I'm a very, I'm a walking contradiction, so I did watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, but damn. it's still fuck the NFL. But, man, the Colts, they're, they're cutting his career short, man. They won't get a man offensive line. Well, that's their fault. We gave you 100 M's. Deliver yeah, anyway. Andrew Luck is like maybe top. No. How, how? How so? He, he may been. be probably the sixth best quarterback. How in the so? What has he done? At to peak? Be, what has he, he done? Okay, we keep talking about his potential. What has he done on the field he to need, warrant he that? He needs that O-line. He carries he needs that, that O-line. O-line. How? What is, their, what is their record since he's been there? I don't know. I guarantee they lost more games than they won. So, like, where do we get this shit They from? had, like, two winning seasons or something. Have they? Or t- in the playoffs twice or maybe once. With Andrew Luck there? Yeah. Okay, so what the fuck has the 49ers did? To hey, be throwing hey. bags like that. <laughs> hey, we looking at his potential. Like we, you got to think about See, it. See, like, and that that's what separates the great team, the great teams from just the good teams. Y'all throwing bags at potential. We got to think like six we, games. You see what happened with uh with um Dallas Cowboys that one year they threw everybody off because they didn't know how those boys was gonna ball out. They came back the next year. 
tape on them. Yeah, but I mean, shit changed. We do. You got six games worth of tape now. Cap was still solid for one when we gave Cap all that money, and for two, Jimmy G. You got to think Jimmy G's been studying under Tom Brady for the last three, four years. So yeah, Jimmy G's crazy. mental game is probably something. Okay. Ter- you know what I mean? And then you come in and you galvanize the team. Like I'm pretty sure those guys. They weren't looking forward to coming to work for the first 10 weeks of the season. Now, oh, we got somebody we believe in, somebody that's going to get us over the hump. Like, why not? I'm not throwing no bag for no six games. How many that's games? fucking How many nuts. Games? Look, he, he was going to get it, whether he got it from us, whether he got it from – he was going to get it from somebody. You can believe that. The way the, like the way he turned the franchise around in those six games, he was going to get the bag from somebody. Might as well be us. Fuck, let's, like, let's not let him go back we go back to being a shitty team. Well, they'll be shitty next year. Uh, Fats, man. We'll the Cavs, man. Yeah, they they won that trade. Um, I don't know what the fuck Magic Johnson is doing on the Lakers side. Well, they said he get to get George, Paul George and LeBron. They got enough cap space now. That that's a big risk. If they don't, then what? Is like, he Phil Jackson? He swing. He's swinging for the fence. You can't be like, mad at him for swinging well, for the fence. He's swinging for the. But fence. to give up Clarkson and um, Clarkson was the only dog on and the team. Nance. I like Clarkson. Clarkson can ball. I like Clarkson. That boy can Larry ball. Larry Nance so trash. He is. Uh, I wouldn't say Larry that. Nance is so he trash, is. He bro. Is. He's he's very one dimensional to me. He is barbecue chicken every time he touches the floor. Yeah, he can dunk, but he can't guard. Not a gut. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, the Cavs are looking rejuvenated, but I think that shit is like I think they're in the honeymoon phase. Like, yeah. oh, we got a bunch of motherfuckers out of here. We got a bunch of new young niggas. That shit cool. But what they gonna do in the playoffs with them? Nothing. Know, Take their asses been. home early. Has this ever happened before? Like, no, nah, I ain't you never drop seen a, that. a nuclear bomb on the whole team. Like, it, but there's teams that have never been assembled like this before. Like, for a motherfucker to be like, I want him, I want him, I want him, I want him. He's my homeboy, even though he's over the hill. Go give him some money. Like, nobody's ever done this in basketball. But before. why is nobody blaming the coaching? I think that's bigger than the coaching. But Tyron Lou is there, and he, you can't say he a great coach. He listens to what Braun says. Yeah, but you gotta think though. They had David Black, and David Black was doing I told a phenomenal y'all, job. Yeah, and and I told him. y'all he last didn't get week. along with Braun. So I told y'all last week that Braun was a coach killer. Yes. Okay, I understand. Like so, LeBron, LeBron has a lot of power. Like you gotta think he had James Jones not getting no minutes, getting a check for like two years. Yeah, Tyron, <laughs> Ty, you know Tyron Lue, he he's in that in that coaching team for PC purposes, but we know yeah. who run that team. Oh, we know who run the team. Braun, Braun. But yeah, man, they traded away Derrick Rose, Wade, Shump, Isaiah Thomas, Crowder, and Ch- Channing Frog. A lot of those weren't big losses. Uh, the only one, the the one who to me means the most would probably be Crowder because he's a what he they call it? He's a three and D guy. Yeah, he wasn't. He was He couldn't thrive in that system though. Whatever system that was. But but you need somebody to defend though. Like okay, this who's is true. Who's going to defend? Like, well, Clark- they got back Clarkson. They Not got Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance. Not a defender. Rodney Hood. George Hill. Not a George defender. Hill. George, George, Hill, Hill, is George Hill. George Hill is a defender. I'll defend. give George Hill a defender. But, but like, you he lost. might be barbecue chicken against Kyrie. Kyrie, oh, yeah, he Kyrie finna John cook Wall. That. Yeah, like, he finna cook him. They, yeah, the point guards over there. Yeah, work. Washington look like they, they're they not falling apart, but they ain't got Wall right now. They, they solid to not have Wall. And that's going to be an issue down the road. And they're like the fourth best team. You still got Boston and Toronto. Like Cleveland's going to be in some trouble. Like you, none of those guys have playoff experience really, except for George Hill. He's probably the biggest acquisition they got. Like, and you gave away one of your draft picks. Like you, you're they're basically betting their whole. To me, it seems like they bet their whole future. All in. In. Yeah, they all in right now. Which was the the purpose before? They were supposed to be all in. That's why they had a bunch of old guys and expiring yeah. contracts, but whatever. But. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they look like post All Star break. I think everybody kind of wanted now, so they didn't want like two in a row. Everybody yeah, hyped about it. Yeah, they played the Celtics in the Thunder. I ain't sold yet either. You know, eventually they're gonna play enough games to where there's enough film in Absolutely. place where you can start throwing strategies at them. You know, to see how they respond. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say that they're better than the Celtics, but they're closer. I than what it. they were. I doubt. But for for me, LeBron's a facilitator. Like he he needs guys he can pass and kick to. Like he doesn't have any shooters. Clarkson has to get his own shot. Nance can't create for himself. Rodney Hood is okay. George Hill's okay. But like you got rid of guys that you know what I mean. That like, team can't go up against Boston though. Hey man. Uh, Without Gordon Hayward, Rodney Hood is the dark horse for me. You like Hood? That kid can ball out. 
He wasn't on TV a lot because he was in Utah. Utah. But that kick and ball. Yeah, he just lost his spot to a rookie. Like how how good is Ronnie Hood? Yeah, we about to you about to see. We I'm ain't. pulling for him, and I he think definitely on prime and time I think now. he's going to be starting in a few games. I don't think so. Maybe a month. I don't think so. I don't see. He'll it. be starting. He. Well, I'm telling you. What round are they making it to? They, Western Conference Finals. They're going. They're they're going to Western Conference Finals. Eastern. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Eastern Conference. I don't. Man, I don't I, Eastern Conference Finals might be a stretch. Yeah. I say Why? second round. I say second round. They might go home. No. If they if they end up in the third seed, they mean they they play Toronto. Toronto disappears in the playoffs yeah. every single year. DeRozan looking like a different monster. Yeah, this and year. Kyle Lowry, what happens to him? He's either hurt he or disappears. he just disappears. He disappears completely. I like the other guy. I can't say his name. I'm not even gonna fuck his name up. But the, <laughs> the small four. He, I like him. He seems like he's solid to me. Like, uh, and again, DeRozan is looking like a different animal right now. So, uh, I don't know. But you know, Brian out there looking rejuvenated, man. I don't think he's ever really meshed well with superstars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but now he has, you know, a younger group of guys aside from George Hill that has never really won anything. They're young. So they're coming into the locker room like ready to just Yeah, but soak it all up, you know I, what I mean? It's they, like LeBron is now is the clear alpha. Like I don't think true. I don't think that was the mindset of IT or Dwayne Wade. True. Walking into that locker room, you know what I mean? True. Like IT's like, man, I can get buckets too. He can. He definitely can. But Clarkson and Rodney Hood are not going to challenge you like that. Because yeah. they ain't not, they haven't uh, won anything. Is that they a just good thing, be, though? Is that a good Yeah, thing because now? now LeBron can operate at a level to where he isn't challenged at all. LeBron now is the clear cut alpha on that team. Yeah, but, but he, he can't win like that. Gotta, yeah, the, he didn't win in Miami like that. He because there was two alphas in Miami. Isn't that why he left the Cavs? I'm not in the saying first place? I'm not saying he's going to win. I'm not going to say he's going to win with this squad. But you can see now the way he's playing. He's like rejuvenated. You need, but two now stars. he has nobody that's going to you need, challenge him. You need two stars to win. There's only one team I could think of in the last 30 years that won without two stars. And that was probably the 2004 Pistons. Yep. Every other team I could think of, that I could think of personally, going back 30 years, had at least two stars. So and LeBron doesn't have that. So, you know, because uh, let's be honest, without Kyrie, two years ago, LeBron doesn't win that championship. This is true. I said uh-huh. Kyrie carried him. I don't think. Uh, I think ultimately this move right here, he ends up staying in Cleveland. Uh, I don't know. He's going to the Lakers. <laughs> Calling it. He's not I told you who my dark horse is. I'm, I'm going if to he go Lakers. to the Lakers, I need my credit. I, I'll never bet against Jerry West. Ever. And I don't think he's going to my Spurs now. He definitely ain't going to the Spurs. Hey, man, relax. Yeah, he's not going to listen to Pac. And Kawhi went out of there. Killer? Kawhi went out of there. Kawhi trying to get out of town. Is that true? Kawhi trying to get out of town. That's a rumor. That's <laughs> Come on, man. Kawhi Kyrie trying to get out of there. Not Kyrie. God damn. Kawhi is fine. Nah, man. He's just got a he got he's a nagging people. injury right now. And I know he's probably getting nah, in his head that because. That ain't the story. That ain't the story, He's, what, 25? That ain't the story, though. You know what I'm saying? That he wants story, to play. Though. He was the MVP candidate last year. That ain't the story, though. The story is he's unhappy. He doesn't disconnect with the coach and, and the organization. Ooh. And, Ka- and Kawhi is so low-key. I think to say because of, because of how much clout Pop has, if he was to come out and say, I'm unhappy with the coaching, all the teams would probably look at him kind of crazy. I don't, yeah. You I, ain't it, heard that one time. It, it didn't say ever. coaching, though. It said it was a disconnect with the organization. Like he don't. I, from my understanding of the story, he doesn't appreciate how they're handling his injury. I don't know how that goes, but just like Kawhi's extremely low key. Like Kawhi has the same exact hairdo he's had his entire time <laughs> in the league. So for a kid like Kawhi to come out and say he's unhappy with the organization, that's big because Kawhi just shows up and play. Like you know what I'm saying? He's he's still driving the same car he had in high school. Tahoe. Even though he made a, even though he signed for 100 M's a couple years ago, like I still have the same exact braids I wore in college. Like I'm extremely low key, and I'm in San Antonio. I'm in a small market. Like I don't need I don't need a lot of spotlight. So for a kid like that to come out, you know, for the stories to be about Kawhi, that to me that says a lot. We're going to get off of this because I'm not here for the Spurs <laughs> at all. <laughs> but, uh, man, uh, you know, but we can't let these games, you know, distract us from the fact that, you know, Danny Ainge got Kyrie and the Celtics basically traded him away for Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance. 
Danny Ainge won. Yeah. He's Big the ultimate finesse, man. Big time. He's, he is the ultimate finesse, dude. Like, people keep talking about the process in Philly. Like, nobody's giving Danny Ainge his credit. Like, he's like, okay, we're going to stack these, these draft picks. We're going to turn them into something. Uh, IT, man. All right, y'all see, y'all checked him out. He looked this. He looked at. He looked. He looked rejuvenated. We talked about rejuvenated. It looked rejuvenated in the one game I saw him with the Lakers. Yeah, That's yeah, just one game he playing for nothing. Yeah. How how long is that hip gonna hold up? That's a nagging injury. It got man. Fucked. It's crazy how that basketball has treated him since he got injured. Man. He yeah. Uh, God damn. He got fucked, but like he, I think to me, I think he talked his way out of town. I think that's what he wanted to do. I think he wanted to talk himself out of town. Like, well, like I, like I was saying, you know, in the beginning. It's a situation where IT probably came in there like IT probably came in there like uh I can shoot better than you. <laughs> I can score just as much as you can. I'm a hooper. Absolutely. That's he how is. we are. He is. But I think t- to me the worst part is he was right there. He was right there about to get paid. Like he was right there and then fuck. I lose my sister. Uh you know, I, my tooth fall out on TV. Fucking, I hurt. I get hurt, and then like his whole basketball life is done a one eighty. Like I different. I got traded. Fuck, like now I got traded again. Like, he's been traded twice, and he was like right there. Yeah, I forgot about his sister. So yeah. he is in a different space. He's in a different space. Yeah. And he got fuck. He got fucked. Like we talking about. I'm trying to get Danny Ainge's props, but he fucked that young man. That sucks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he looks good, man. He's still out there. He a liability on defense, though. He just be getting. Cooked. Oh, he, he yeah, absolutely. Oh man, hey man, I uh. My boy Skinny just walked in. What up, man? What's up, man? My fault for the delay. Oh, man, it's all good. But uh, it was good seeing Wade back in Miami, man. I kind of got a little chills, man, watching the little video, man. Yeah. That's, that's a good, great. That's a good look. That's home for that dude, man. Like, you, I think he basically grew up in that city. Yeah, like, he got yeah. there as a 20, he 21 year He can finish where he started. Absolutely. And, and like, like, a lot of times with these trades, a lot of things that people don't talk about is, like, it affects your family. Yeah. So like his family didn't come to Cleveland. His family stayed in Miami. Like Gabby yeah. and the and the nephew and the sons, they stayed in Miami. So I could really get to go. Like this ain't just me going to the city I play basketball in. I get to really go fucking home. I don't think they out the playoff hunt either. Nah, they not ball See, they, Hey man. He he uh, he kinda weighed up. He, you know, he he didn't he didn't lose anything in the trade. Hey man, but I'm gonna tell y'all right fucking now. The sleeper is Joe Johnson going to Houston. Yeah. Oh man, that hurt. That hurt. As a Spurs fan, that hurt yeah. because now shit has become real difficult. But what is Harden going to do? He folds in the playoffs. Fact. What yeah, is Harden going to do? You got ISO Joe. You got Chris Paul. Folder. Folder. You you can kind of you can you can kind of go back and forth with with uh, Chris Paul and James Harden because they both can play off the ball. Are you they, know what I'm saying? Are they built to beat the Warriors? Oh none. I think I. I'm telling you, I still believe the Warriors are about. I don't three, even think they beat an OKC. Man, OKC is dangerous when they when they get it right. When they get it right, they're dangerous, and they're the only team that's manhandled the Warriors. They did it twice this year. At the know? end of the day, I think the only at the end of the day, the only team that can probably handle the Warriors is my Spurs. Healthy, nah, you tripping? Fuck healthy, you tripping? Healthy. Fuck Why I tripping. say this because Houston, they're good, but at the end of the day. D'Antoni, D'Antoni, um, he's not an X's and O's coach. He's not a, he's not an X's and O's coach. So five seconds left, he's folding. Oh, it's that's been his whole career, coaching career. My Spurs, healthy, can go at the Warriors, but I, at the end of the day, I still think the Warriors are three years ahead. The the soft spot I do see in the Warriors though, after five. They're real thin. They they got a solid starting five. I like their bench. I, I yeah, don't. Like, but you I'm, cut the bench to what? Seven, eight. You go into the playoffs with what, seven, eight. They they eight is strong. That's that's yeah. Sean Livingston, Andre Iguodala, and Dave West. Str- they, they, they do not strong. look good. Well, how? They haven't been looking good they all just year. Beat Phoenix by forty some. Yeah. Odd. Have you seen Iggy play lately? Iggy's still solid. Like yeah, I- Iggy's thirty five, thirty six. Like, what do we expect Iggy to do? Like Iggy, Iggy exactly. does exactly. Iggy and come does the what playoffs he... that gets exploited. How he won Finals MVP not long ago. Yeah, but it, 
this is a what have you done for me lately world. Man, Iggy, Iggy's good. Iggy's gonna stay right on Golden State and keep doing what Iggy's been doing. I'm a come. Nah. My job is to not. My job is not to come in here and get a bunch of buckets. It's hey. to, it's, it's to play defense on the best on the best wing player on the other team while I'm in the game and give KD a break. And he hey. can he can do that efficiently right now. Yeah, that that's ISO. all he gotta do. He ain't really gotta get the points. You don't gotta put no points on the board. Those are bonus points. Whatever you get, whatever you get from you, we appreciate it because we weren't looking for that. That 10, 12, whatever it is, he we just take gotta it. hold down. He just gotta make sure that the opposing the other team don't get the points. Like that's Pretty all. Much. That's all he gotta do. He gotta make sure the other team don't get the points because Golden State gonna get their points. Starting five, five yeah, home. easy. Once that bench State, come in though, but they're starting five, getting you almost hundred points. That's true. That, a game. So. How is that gonna last the whole playoffs though? It that's last, what I'm saying. In the playoffs, that him. can get exploited. How? Because at I mean, first, like, their bench was extremely solid. Now, just this year, their bench has not played well, and they still turning the ball over at a high rate. But a lot that of that all gets Steph. exploited in the playoffs. But this, wasn't this our over. argument last finals though about their bench wasn't as great? Like they no. gave their bench. Their bench was playing in. Like who? who? The talking bench. about the Warriors, right? They're no, the no, bench. they don't. Who left? Who came? You got Swaggy. Swaggy hasn't played good at all. Iggy hasn't played good at all. Do we uh, expect Swaggy to do Livingston anything? hasn't played good at all. Huh? Like, in the playoffs, in the playoffs, you cut your bench. You cut your rotation short. Who has a better so bench? So, you can go and play 10 strong, 10, 11 strong during the regular season. During the playoffs, you're cutting that to, like, seven. Who has we still talking ninety points though between just three those people? Hey, I'm telling you, if they match up with my boys, the, your, who, your boys got to score over ninety points. And, who's, and we can do that. Who's on their bench? Well, we got a strong bench. Who? Don't worry about it. We right. hurt right <laughs> now. <laughs> right. We hurt right now. Okay, when healthy, who's uh, who's coming off the bench for the Spurs? Man, Patty you got Mills, Kyle who Anderson, that's balling out. Stinks. You got Patty Mills. You got now. You got Tony Parker coming off the bench. Mm, if, if Andre Iguodala is washed, Tony Parker is fucking washed. Right. Tony Parker is balling. Then you got Ginobili. Oh, come on, now. come on, man. Come on now. <laughs> you can't, come on like now. you can't shit on Iguodala oh, and then man. throw these come names on. out. Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, man. That rose, that rose. <laughs> that's the rose. We're talking. off the. Hey, we off the Spurs slander, man. <laughs> hey, uh, salute to Paul Pierce, man, on getting his jersey retired. That blazer he had on was so trash. I didn't see the ceremony, but I, I mean, that's a, that's a that's a big that's a big honor because I mean, it's the Celtics, they're a legendary organization. Like shit, that wheelchair game was so trash. Theatrics, <laughs> <laughs> dude. That's oh man. Like when when you first, I remember what was that? How many years ago was that? When the wheelchair game. I have no clue. I know it was back in the day. I think I was still in school. Man, I was like, oh, my God. This is amazing. Since we're speaking on basketball, did you see the uh, Kyrie Irving and Shaquille O'Neal them in the, the new movie? That's the Uncle Drew movie? That I didn't hilarious. see it. That looks hilarious. Uh, what? That looks hilarious. <laughs> have you ever seen it? No. It's like They're doing a whole uh, Uncle Drew they're movie. They're doing a whole Uncle Whoa. Drew movie from it's, like the little commercials. Like it's going to be a whole bag, movie. It's, it's, Get that bag. Who, who's in it? It's... Uh, Lil Rail, who's one of the funniest in the, in the yeah. comedy game to me. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal, Kyrie Irving, Lisa Leslie, Reggie Miller, Chris Webber, and I think oh, Nate shit. Robinson. Is it like Space Jam? No, 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 no. They, you nah. know, they, they all got the Uncle Drew vibe it's going like on, the, so they all yeah, old men. It's like okay, the, okay. The old I think they're playing like the old Rucker players. It's like a, yeah, it's like And then a, they're going back to Rucker, and they just going to show the young dudes that the old man could beat them in Rucker. And okay. Like, Kyrie is like showing out in the in what I seen as far as that. Oh goes. shit! It look nice yeah. though. Yeah, you gotta look at that. You gotta look at that. Um, Since we was talking about basketball, I just it just popped up and I was like, oh snap! Yeah, I saw that. That look they look funny though. Get that bag, man. The commercials was hilarious. So yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Robert Parrish, he says that uh, Paul Pierce is the greatest Celtic nope. ever. offensive Celtic. Ever. Larry Legend. That goes to Larry go. Legend. There you go. I mean, and then I'm not gonna let him disrespect Bill Russell that way. So, but Bill offensively, Russell. Bill Russell wasn't there. Um, the rebounds is crazy though. But Larry Legend, yeah, have Larry you, Legend. Got have that. you played with Bill Russell in 2K? He's fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you can't do with the Chucks on. <laughs> Fuck what you talking about right now. Bill Russell's um, fucking amazing. Hey, um, man, Big Var, man. Man, Lonzo won't resign with the Lakers unless they uh. 
I like his two boys. I like Levar, but he he kind of fucking like at this point he's doing too much. Mm. I and like. You, oh look, man! If that was my pops, I'm all for it. I mean, I, like, I, mean, I think that's how his, I think that's how his kids. You know what I'm saying? Talking three years, like so, but still, Lonzo I'm have to show up. Way. Lonzo have yeah, to really show up yeah. for you to say, okay, we're gonna sign all three of your boys. Like Lonzo got to show yeah. up these next two years. But is, is that even was, worth it though? He would have to. He would have to play at like superstar He's level. He's not asking for. So like, let me. Okay, so let me ask you this. Contract. Let me ask you this. Okay, and I think it's 20, 2022, 20, 2023, whatever. Right. LeBron's son is eligible for the NBA. Now, if LeBron came out and said, he'd be at the twilight of his career, but if he came out and said, I will sign with you for a discount if you sign my son. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a major marquee team. Maybe maybe in Orlando or some shit like that, it might fly because at this point because I you know, I've I've had people tell me not every team is competing for a championship. This is a business. Like, you know, we look at it as fans, but at the end of the day, this is a fucking business. So if it is it a smart business move to sign LeBron with his son? Like for Orlando, we're not man, we're not being the playoff hunt ever, or like Brooklyn or like Sacramento. So we're trying to just break even. We're trying to operate in the black. So for teams like that, that would make sense because it's like shit, we're gonna put bodies in the seats. Yeah. Like, you know, the late the was it last season or the season before last? The Lakers knew they weren't gonna win. They knew they weren't going to the playoffs. But it's like this is the Kobe show. We're gonna put on the Kobe show every night. We're gonna go out here and get dusted, but we're gonna let Kobe take. Uh, and I think that's Lavar stand. I, I think he feels if his three kids is on the same team, they're gonna put bodies in the seats. Like that's, that's what true. it is. That's but not the case. How, how do they? they well, right now their fans they have a crazy fan following. So he's like they're the following them literally. Yeah, everywhere. he he's a marketing genius, but they're he's out his fucking mind. Man. They're following them everywhere. Yeah, WWE. <laughs> he's a basketball father. When when have you ever heard of a basketball father though? Okay, but that's the thing though—a black basketball yeah. father. And he's on WWE. That's that is major. Exactly. That's Look at marketing. how big JBA gonna be soon. His little um basketball association that he finna start. Oh, so he going through with that then, yeah, right? I know it's okay. easy. I know it's okay. easy as basketball fans to sit back and you look at this, and then you just totally shit on him. But can you imagine the confidence in that home though? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's a great father. Like, yeah, I de- give him that. You definitely got it. You know what I'm saying? You, know what I'm saying? you definitely have to teach your kids some extra shit to be able to just take this kind of pressure. Now, I don't think he's totally sold on his boys' play out there in Lithuania. Yeah. I don't think he's totally sold on it, but at the end of the day, it all comes back to how Lonzo plays. Right now, he's disposable to me. Absolutely disposable. He's absolutely. That's why I say it, it depends so on what he how says. He, he has to show out. These next two years, he's have he have to show the NBA that he can be a 2010-8 player, like, and he need to be 2010-8. I'm not talking nothing in between. Like, he need to damn to be a, a double double player to say, okay, we're gonna bring you both your other boys because what Jello comes off the bench, Melo maybe start. Like, it, I, I like don't what, think, what do they do? I don't think it flies in LA though. Like, for yeah. t- like, because for one, Magic Johnson's not having none of that shit. He's he's not he's not gonna be intimidated or persuaded. If it's not a good basketball move, Magic's not going for it. If it's two, like the Lakers are one of those teams where even when we bad, we trying to put out a good product. So like we're not putting no bullshit out here. Let me ask y'all this then. Since everybody's saying LeBron and Paul George is gonna go to the Lakers. Now Le- does LeBron wanna deal with that? Everybody's saying that. Because at not- what point does LeVar Bump be head. like, man, my fucking son ain't getting enough touches? And and he's big on that. Like if you watch his the, the Facebook show, he said that, like, if you're not signing my kids overseas and if they're not getting in the game, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? So he's big on that, this kid getting touches. I don't think LeBron's going over there, personally. I think LeBron's going to yeah. stay where he's at. Yep. No, nah, LeBron's going to the Lakers, man. The Clippers. He's going to the Lakers. I can't, he's definitely hey, not going look, to the Clippers. Look, I can't wait now. I don't think he's that much of a hoe-ass nigga. Like I said last week, he just can't be that no, much of a hoe. I, I said before you got here that he was staying, <laughs> but – Okay. I can't wait now. I give it because Lonzo is hurt right now. Right. But when he comes back, oh, the show between uh, Isaiah Thomas and Lavar is gonna be yeah, that's amazing. The thing. They're yeah. going to go at it because I, I don't. Cause believe- it. it straight up. I'm not coming off the bench. 
No, he's he's definitely he's and definitely he's playing off the like he's not coming off. He's the coming off the bench. They already said he's they already said like he's not coming. He was, they've all already, air balls he was shooting in Cleveland. They've already said that. No, nah, but he he he's, he's, he's resurgent on the Lakers okay. though. They've but, are, they've oh, already right. they've already said that Lonzo's our starting point guard. The yeah, Lakers but, as an organization have said that. Yeah, but it and his uh, agent says he ain't coming off the bench. You now when it. Lonzo comes back, I'm just saying how long until Levar throws a shot at it. Well, Levar not coming back for a minute because I don't think he's coming back to the Lithuania series. Yeah, he, this shit he said this and yeah, he's there. he's always gonna be in the media. He's always gonna be vocal. That's the thing. Like he he's never gonna go. He's away. a media sensation for now, but at some point, Levar's influence is gonna die because there's gonna be another media sensation. But Lakers have already talked to him about this. They try to kill that wave, and I he's just a marketing genius. There's no way to get around he Levar. Got a strong team. He if, got he got a strong team. Like his uh, management very and, strong and everybody. Team, like they're taught they they. They are in contact with ESPN tough. I can't so say. They I know can't how to say. sell them. They know how to sell yeah, them. Yeah, but if you if you keep if you keep coming out with outrageous statement after outrageous statement, like at some point it's like, are you a marketing genius? Or are you just saying shit that you know? What is he, an outrageous statement though? As a, he's in a, 2018, that's a, that's a, this is a climate. The of Lakers what, are gonna the Lakers are going to sign my son or the or my son. All he's saying basically all he's saying is is he won't he won't resign with the Lakers if they don't. If they don't sign his two boys, but he can, it can also, the underlying message to other teams could be, okay, we'll sign for a discount if you sign. And that's what he's my saying. He's he not oh. saying he wants the biggest check. You get he what I'm saying? saying? He want all three of his boys on the same team. Like all three of your boys don't have NBA talent. But Jello, yeah, Jello is the thing. Melo can do his thing, but yeah, I think Melo, I, mm. I think Melo's going to be. Great within the next four years, yeah, like not, he's still. I'm not trying. buying it. I can't say he got to he got to bulk up man. though. I'm not you buying. Bulk it. Up. He's a shit. He's yeah. he's he's a decent high school player. Like I, in 2018, in 2001, I would have ate his shit. Yeah, he could be the next Austin Rivers. I would have ate his shit. Okay, so, what about, so so since we right. own that own Melo, so what about Zion? He, he's good to go to the NBA. Zion has an so, NBA ready. Yeah, body. that nigga the next LeBron. He's a, he has an <laughs> nobody. He has an NBA ready. But I don't know about his I don't game. Know if that's a good thing. <laughs> what? He said he's the next LeBron. I'm not his saying body type. Mm. Oh, that. He, he you remember so LeBron enough, coming out of high school? That's how. That's how Bron was. But they he's not, he's not getting the hype. They he's said that about Andrew hype, Wiggins too, and that didn't pan out. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. That's but he. I mean, if you're talking about NBA, he has a Zion Williamson has an NBA ready body right now. I don't know about his skill set because all I, every all the highlights you see is just him either mostly dunking. dunking. They they show him doing like some little shots here and there, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna we gonna don't know his skill set. We're gonna see what oh, he looks like. Like you gotta think all all this shit is done off potential. Like Dwight Howard never panned out to what they thought he was gonna be, but they you you get paid off potential. You get drafted and paid off potential. Yeah. That's where your that's where your big checks come yeah. in. Well, man, like I said, there is no kid in this world that didn't wish they had a dad like that. Like. Oh, absolutely! You know what I'm saying? That to absolutely. me is incredible. The, the the only part is your dad's writing a check that you got to go cash. Like does does Lonzo have? But the that's game? all right though. If my dad is riding for me, if my dad is riding for me, you like you see, even when he was at UCLA, right? When he started struggling, Lavar started doing shit that got all the media attention off of Lonzo, and it went to him. When he came to the league. And he was struggling. Lavar was doing the wild shit when nobody talking about Lonzo. Right. I just think I they know. have that. Mo- I think his kids have the mentality to to work at it. They're riding with each other, man. So, for th- and that, that's all that matters, man. Putting in a family work. that tight, like you can't. They, I don't think you can break them. And I think oh, his kids. No, is, and, and I think I think they are coachable. Like that's kind of like when Iverson came into the league. Like he wasn't as yeah. coachable. Mm-hmm. Like these these kids are coachable. Yeah. So give them the time to become. They they can be. Oh, I'm not knocking their t- I'm not knocking Some, them. I'm not knocking them. Lonzo was very well liked in the locker room. Absolutely. But if if if, if your dad if cuz at some point you're going to if you have to keep saying outrageous shit to get headlines, at some point the shit that you're doing now is not going to generate the same headlines. So you're going to have to keep saying more shit that's more and more to the but left. When, but when you look at it, what's outrageous about what he's saying? Honestly. A lot a lot of it. It's or I w- I won't say outrageous. I'll say it's out of the norm. So that it's clickbait. As they call but it, it's as long as he keep but that, making the business moves, he's going to be talked about. Yeah, as long as he continue to make a business That's marketing. Moves, he's going to be talked about. Genius, but the product, I, from what I've read, the reviews on the product are shitty. 
I heard the shoes are shitty. Yeah, I heard but, he's not sending people to shoes, okay. all that. But I heard, I heard, Jay, I heard, Jay-Z said he ain't get his shoes. Yeah. But uh, Charlamagne got his, though. I think they're starting to get them now, but I'm pretty sure it was a high, it, they were in high demand. Initially, because it's like we're going to support the black man, but a, a lot of the shoes that you received are not the shoes you ordered. But the he reviews. Complete, he completely changed the shoes. This is, this is a black man that is shifting the way. That oh. you'll do business. He's I don't think the business. reviews are going to be he's, good. He's got like an F from the Better Business Bureau. Yeah, fuck them though. And I, I think this I is think, a black. <laughs> this is a I black man. A this is a black man in a family single-handedly changing the way people are doing business. The, the next superstar. Okay, even though um, Lonzo's shoes didn't do as much as maybe we expected, and we shitted on him for that. The next superstar that comes to the league can take that. Oh yeah, he's definitely a that model. Yeah. Take that model, yeah. and then expand it to where it should be. That changes everything. But he just, he just probably need to create more. Like, I don't think he have the manpower behind the shoes to send him out like that. Like, I don't think he has the manpower. I don't think he has as many shoes as, as Jordan. Like, he has a limited edition amount of shoes, and it's a lot of people really ordering these shoes. I don't know about a lot. I, from from what I've read, and all this is speculation, but from what I've read, I've seen a kid in the Meadows Mall with him. And I don't. I've never seen him in person. I've but seen him in person. I've seen, but like I know that at one point they were talking, they were saying that you couldn't distinguish the numbers, didn't distinguish how many shoes were being sold versus just the amount of product they were they were selling. So you couldn't yeah. tell if it was shoes versus t-shirts or beanies or whatever the fuck. He would get. I, I think he'd get it right. I, My I, son's got not, shoes, right. and people are buying them. Yeah, I, I think he, I think he'll get it right. I'm saying as long as as long as he continue to do some type of business, he will be talked about. You know, like if if this JBA really gets off the ground, how it's supposed to get off. If long as he continue to do some type of business, he will continue to be talked about. Uh, is he being talked about for the business though? Is he is he is the? I know they say all you know all publicity, um, all publicity, is good publicity, is good publicity yeah. but I can't. I, I don't agree with that. But now some it people is, are gonna, though. but He's see working. some people going to start getting behind him. Some people are going to say, you know what? You have the ideas. You just need the, the infrastructure. Yeah, you just need yeah. the. You just need that. You know what I'm saying? Like he needs the army. He needs the people to bag him up. He don't really have that yet because he really came in as a independent. Coming in any business independently is a struggle. Yeah, absolutely. Especially Truth. when you coming into this in this business. This is not. You can't play. You can't come into this high of level of business independently think you're gonna do what you're doing like these people that's, that's playing this game this nike they're they're billionaires absolutely you're you have nowhere near the amount of money that they have to pay the amount of people that they're going to pay to get out the, the amount of shoes and product that they're going to get out okay let me let me let me okay so do you think if he came in with the shoes at a different price point he would have did a lot better no because you're in competition why how like yeah you're still I, competing I, with I think he was just trying to get the money real quick. I think it's kind of like it's kind of like the Nipsey Hussle thing. Yeah, the hundred dollar crimson. Like yeah, Nipsey Hussle. exactly. I was gonna say the it's same kinda shit. Kind of like the Nipsey Hussle. But how many shoes exactly. is he in competition with? I mean, he's not coming out on like with just bags of money. You gotta put yourself at a price to where you can stay at he, least he wanted afloat to be, with your competition. He wanted the shoes to be a conversation. So yeah. by him saying four ninety five, he made it a conversation. Just like Nipsey Hussle made his album a conversation with a hundred dollars a thing, and then Jay Z went and bought some for a thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like absolutely, he's but, making it a conversation. But what did Nip, what did Nipsey? But Nipsey Hussle now did, Nipsey Hussle was bagging up everything because he created the money. Now okay. he's able to do a lot. But it wasn't it it wasn't just a CD for a hundred dollars. It was a beanie, it was a sweater, and it was a concert ticket. In addition to all that, all that came but, with that hundred dollars. The idea came off of dude selling a hundred dollar Philly cheesesteaks yeah, in Philly. I get, I get so it. and that was just one cheesesteak for a hundred dollars. Just to bring the attention, like, damn, are these cheesesteaks that good? But how many people are gonna order a hundred dollar cheesesteak? You don't need a lot of people. Why not? Because exactly. you're making the money. Hey, if a hundred dollar cheesesteak, you're making a lot of money. Be, before we move on, man, it's a quote by Tupac, man, that sticks with me. And I think it's very relevant to this issue, to LeVar. Mm-hmm. It says, he says, I'm not saying I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the brain that will change the world. Absolutely. His business moves years down the line are going to shake up the way things are going now. It depends on how much success. I'm yeah, I, I, and I agree with you there. I mean, it depends on the success. It, do, it depends on the well, success. Right now. But it's, it's just on how you do it. Like, it's. 
it's how he do it. It's how he do it. If he can bring the success, if he can show proof behind it that this is worth you paying attention to, this is it's worth it. Once he shows it, it's worth it. Then he's gonna be something. Okay, he has to go back to the drum because, like I said, people ordered one pair of shoes and a different pair of shoes came in the box in the, in the mail. The people that got their shoes on time when they were supposed to, like right. mind you, I had to wait. I ordered these shoes six months ago. They finally get here and it's not what I ordered. I, ordered, I got a completely different shoe. When yeah, I, when that's I got a here. problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, we got an F from the Better Business Bureau. Would you say you don't give a fuck about it? I get that. <laughs> but, like, a, a lot of this is riding on Lonzo's success. Lonzo, Lonzo came in the game having a shitty season. He, he got solid for a rookie. I, you know, he has time to grow. I give him that. But, like, for you to justify a $500 shoe, your son will have to turn into the next fucking LeBron or whoever the Magic. fuck. Magic. He, he's going to have to do something better than just be the average. Okay. He, if he turns into Michael Carter Williams, the whole business model is fucked. Well, man, yeah. shout out to... Big Var, man. But even and now even uh, Melo have a shoe too. I, I, you know, I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to sit here and seem like I'm hating on Levar. I love what he's doing. I'm thinking. I don't know if the pressure he's putting on the situation is going to hold. But do you not see the genius of him taking his two sons to Lithuania? Oh, absolutely. And bringing a big baller brand to Europe. That's but major. It's he's, not, it's, but Lithuania is not a big, it's all marketing. Lithuania is not a big market. If he had, if he did it in Spain. But you bring it to Europe, you start out in Lithuania, then you expand. But do you, do your do your kids have the game to go to the next level though? Do they have the game to take it? Okay, we, oh, we conquered Lithuania. Now we're gonna go to Turkey. We conquered Turkey. Now we're gonna go to Russia. Now we're gonna go to. Do, do his kids have the game to do that? I don't know that. They but don't. he has the confidence so, in them. To I'm not do mad that. at him. I'm, I'm not mad at him. I love, as a, especially as a black father, I love to see it. Go get it. Yeah. I just need I need the words and your actions to match up. Yeah, I praise him. Okay, let's talk about some trash real quick. There's plenty of that. Uh, The All-Star Game predictions. Y'all got any? I think Uh, Team LeBron is too big, too physical. Uh, He got all the individual talent, which is the All-Star Game is an individual talent game. Like, So LeBron is going to win it all for the East? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, from my look at the rosters, I'm like, oh, my God, this is who? Like, Steph Curry picked this on purpose? (laughs) This was terrible. This is like, to me, he got the leftovers. I'm going with Team Braun, too, just because that team has had a lot of injuries. Uh, Curry, Curry's team on paper looks like they should win. I, I heard he was, like, aiming for more shooting, which, okay, I on get On paper, it. Curry's team look like they should win, but I'm going for Braun. But the All-Star game has always been trash. I, I think it's going to be different always. this year. I think it's going to be different this year. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I think the one always. The last, Mac okay, I've won. It's hard. I, the, the one where Jordan made the shot at the, his last All-Star 2004. game. 2003 or, Three or 2004. Four. That one and the one where, um, what was that year when Kobe and LeBron was going at it? I know what you're talking and about. And LeBron disappeared. 2010? Like, I don't say something. All Star like Weekend that. was decent. It, it, all Star Weekend was nice for a while. Like, we the all the game up itself to it at one on point. Sunday is trash. Mm. I think I think it's I, I think the format might be the game up. itself is trash. I think the, I think they, I think the four I think they need to offer a different whatever. I don't know what the incentive is for the All Star game, but I they need to they offer said, a different uh, incentive. Um, so, some more money that helps. I, I, I'm not putting my body putting my body through all that for I, a few extra thousand dollars. I, I saw an idea that I liked I, where it was basically like take what you're doing, take what they did this year, and take it a step further. Like don't pick the teams either, or, or like some some people want the draft to be on TV, which I agree with. Um, but for me, I like, I like the idea where the guy was like, okay, so LeBron and Steph are the captains. Make the motherfuckers pick their team right in front of them. Yeah, but they don't want no butthurt feelings. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, to me, that, that'll make the game more intense. Like, oh, you didn't pick me, motherfucker? Okay, cool. I got something for your ass. That'll make it more personal so to me. Make it more of a street ball? Pretty much. Okay. Who y'all got for the slam dunk contest? Gordon. Yeah, I think that's just who was between, like. <laughs> and Gordon is amazing. Yeah, like, I call him baby, for real. I call him Baby Blake on 2K. I like him. Shout this episode, him. I'm riding with trash. I'm going with Larry Nance Jr. Fuck, nah, out he's of here. not gonna beat Gordon. And you know There's why no I'm going for Larry Nance Jr. is because I like history. I and if Gordon's he wins, activity was just if he. I don't think Gordon's in it because he got hurt. Is he hurt? Yeah, I haven't I heard. Think he's that. not in it anymore. He got hurt. Oh, okay. I believe so, but I, Donovan Mitchell took his spot. Yeah, uh, but if he wins, 
That'll be the first uh, son pops duo I'm not to picking, win it. Because his pops won it back in the I'm day. I'm not picking Larry Nance to do anything good. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a fan. Oh, it kills me to even say his name. He is so trash. Like, I, I pick Isaiah Thomas to win the dunk contest where I pick fucking Larry oh, Nance. Man, Fuck out of here. <laughs> that's disrespectful. Fuck out of here with Larry Nance. But um, music, man. Black Panther soundtrack. What up? <laughs> what? Was, I know I'm, I'm, I, I, it sounded like bonus tracks off of um, Damn. <laughs> it wasn't. It, was, it wasn't. It was, it was a Kendrick. Ray, it was okay. It was okay. That opening track is crazy. Did Kendrick yeah. ex- exactly? Kendrick he, he exactly did. Yeah, he did right. that. Okay. And you it started off where it was just supposed to be a few tracks, and then it just evolved into he's doing the whole. Thing. Uh, the you can tell he he had a hand in every single track. In every track. It sounded like a Young Money compilation, kind of. Yeah. Like, is it? Is he not we're starting not really to sound? Is he not like starting that. to sound like Drake though? <laughs> like. Sonically, I, I think not like, not lyrically, but they sonically. might as well had did this Black Panther soundtrack the way that Jay Z did American Gangster. Like just just go ahead and give it to Kendrick. Pretty like, much, just, just yeah. give yeah. it to him. Like that's, that's, what, that's why that's why I said the Young Money because like Lil Wayne was on you like you had to have Lil Wayne on every track on the Young Money compilation right. for it to be relevant. Like, yeah, it kind of sounded like that. Uh, uh, I like the song with him and SZA though. It, that, it's that a few had. songs on there I I kind of you know like like I went back and listened to it like three times like. Once I seen, okay, it dropped, and then I think, Dante, I think you had posted uh, the Kendrick song was fire. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let me go. And and I just, I think I went back to Kendrick's song a couple of times. All right. Uh, George, I think the no, Georgia Smith song, I, I am, am, that stood out. Oh, man. That's good. There's another joint called uh, Paramedic. SOB. Man, R-R-B. I was, in, man, I was That's like, hard. hey, man. I like the way that, that he, me I like the way like, that he brought that in though. I like the way that he brought them yeah. Yeah. into this soundtrack. Definitely. Like, that had me nobody feeling expected like, Mozzie in there. Like I like the fact Mozzie that he killed that. that. He did. Mozzie yeah. killed nobody that. Nobody expected that. Like nobody expected them to be a part of Mozzie Black Panther. But that, that, that paramedic joint man had me. Was I was good. feeling like I was on like Sherman cocaine in the gym, boy. <laughs> I was up in that motherfucker. I don't know that, everything. That I don't dangerous. know. I don't know if that's good because you said you only listen to trash in the gym. So was it he trash did say or that? Not? He did say no. Nah, paramedic is dope, oh, man. Okay. Um, the okay. track with Mosey. I mean, damn, Mozzie. <laughs> that's the Rose talking, Mozzie. folks. The <laughs> Mozzie was dope. Uh, the K Dot and Travis Scott song. We gonna hear that on the radio. Yeah, that is almost anything. Big shot Travis will Scott be on the radio, which I feel like sounds like a Drake record. I'm gonna just throw that out there from the from his previous playlist. It sounds we like a Drake record. Play, right? Even Georgia Smith was on the playlist. And then and Drake. So okay, now Drake is getting smashed again. As far yeah, as no, like, we are gonna get into that okay. later on. We are gonna get okay. into that later okay. on. Okay. Um, is this the head. is this the best soundtrack ever? Fuck hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. I've been here. Hey, Twitter was saying. Man, Twitter. I was, was I was shit. on Twitter. Man, they were saying this is the best soundtrack ever. I, I bet none that. of them. I bet none of them heard on Snapchat for a minute. They was like, "Oh, this the best ever." Yeah, they wild. I bet they never heard the the Waiting Age Hell soundtrack. Oh, this motherfucker. <laughs> really classic. Shit was really? cla- Hey, shit was classic. Really? Shout out to Whitney Houston, baby. You like? Rest it's it's like <laughs> you're like the. Even though we don't have a woman on the panel, like you're our woman on the panel, because you named it like women's songs, like "Waiting to Exhale." It was a banging sound- act. It was a big. Ba- I mean, the best, uh, the best soundtrack of all time to me was "Bad Boys 2. That's if I gotta pick one, that's my pick. Hey, that's why he missed her Facetime your girl, man. <laughs> I like hey, Bad Boys too, he serenade like a bug. Hey, that, that "Waiting to Exhale" Jason was lyric, um, huh? You gonna name that one too? I mean, I, I think Jason the greatest lyric? soundtrack is <sighs> toss up between the Wood and Bad Boys Two. To mm, me. That, that sounds familiar. Somebody just said something about Bad Boys <laughs> I, think too. I, I don't know. I like Above the Rim. But oh, I, I forgot about there. Above the Rim. I liked it Above the Rim. Track. I like American Gangster. Is, like is that Buckley. an official sound? That's, that's I like top that three album. J like albums. That's, that's top three. Ooh. That's top three. Too. That's like Reasonable hey. Doubt Part Two. We y'all like Michael Jordan and Space Jam up in this motherfucker, man. Y'all read that album to me was amazing. It is American that Gangster? album to me was amazing. Oh. To me. Now you say top three. A lot top of people don't three. like that for one of Jay Z's album. For top me, three. for me, that's there. For what, me, are the, what are the other two? For and me, I like slept that. on it. Reasonable doubt. I want to say um Blueprint. Reasonable doubt, blueprint. 
then American Gangster. American Gangster was better than then Black Album? Yeah. I, I, got, yeah. I got Black Yeah, I got Black Album. Yeah. Right I got now. Blueprint. Yeah. And I got American Gangster. I don't really got Reasonable Doubt. Although I did go back and listen to Reasonable Doubt. But what made me go back and listen to Reasonable Doubt was. Reasonable Doubt, doubt wasn't a Black. classic until he got hot. Yeah. I, and I agree with that. Nobody said Volume 2. Nobody thought Volume 2 was one of his better albums. Yeah, that was all radio singles. Though. That's in my top five. Whose fault is that? That's not my I mean, fault. That I make good music. I, I got it. I don't know. Uh, so if they, if they want also, radio, Booty Call, man. Booty Call was a dope booty sound. Uh, that's and a you know, my sleeper, <laughs> my sleeper, <laughs> Barla Blocking. That's the Rose talking people. <laughs> what? Might as well, have, might as well have said the I'm about it soundtrack. I was just about to say, Baller goddamn. Blocking. <laughs> Baller blocking wasn't dope. No. Oh. Was that even a real movie? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh, uh, y'all so disrespectful. I don't man. I don't want any movies. So you can't name movies. You can't name the soundtrack if you only get the movie at Mario's from y'all. five to eight. <laughs> <laughs> you can only buy the movie at Mario's from five to eight. Um, Mark Battle's album. Was mad dope to me. I don't know I if y'all check it, it out. No. Um, but check that out. I didn't know that he was on quality control. Quality control is, is Yachty, P, Migos, yeah, P, and um, Coach okay. K. Um, but his it was a straight. It was a pure hip hop album. So it stood out in the crowd that he's in. I like him as an artist. So I got to go listen to that. They're album. more, I like him you as know, an Yachty and Migos. You know, you got trapping. I don't know what the fuck Yachty is. But, <laughs> I mean, um, that was a different sound coming from that label. Uh, singles, y'all got any before we get into it? Before I get into it, that Drake look alive, trash. That shit was hard. You tripping. trash, you tripping. Trash. you tripping. It is Wednesday night. That, oh, that, night that, that's not his song though. Block yeah. boy, J B. Block boy, but yeah, he was yeah, yeah. totally trash. Yeah, that nigga was trash. Oh, both Drake of them did his trash shit. bags. Shit, both of them were trash. When Drake get on the track, that's automatically his song. Uh, Snoop, man, that's a banger. I didn't care for I his. Hear it. I didn't care for his verse, but Jacquees carried that whole fucking song. I couldn't find it. Uh, couldn't find that sucks. It. Uh, Neo, good man. It was I, cool. I seen that on the that school, was I dope. Didn't listen to it. I didn't it was listen cool. to it. Oh man, cool. I, I still got that on repeat, man. It was cool. Did I we catch the Did we catch the When We remix though? Not yet. I didn't check wow. it out yet. I hear it was a letdown. Kinda. What? I I I, I like to it, listen to stuff. Wifey posted and was she all did. like, "What does that mean? She got her opinion. I got my opinion. <laughs> I like to listen to stuff after everybody's done with it because I can go mm-hmm. into it with no bias. So if if I'm listening to it right now and I'm looking on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. I can easily be like, oh, man, everybody's saying it's dope. So I'm already going to it thinking it's dope. You know what I mean? I don't cool. want that influence. I'll probably listen to it tomorrow. It was I don't cool. I do not do Like, when I when everybody tells me it's dope and I go listen to it, 9 out of 10, it ended up being trash to me. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to listen to it on my own. Yeah. Like, how, I, like, last week, how fucking old was that Tupac movie before I seen it? Oh, I still haven't seen it. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? Um, King Combs. I was just about Did to talk about that single, bro. That's I, a hit, and that's a hit, and I think, I think this era is missing that flow. He got like the Mace flow going. Man, he got like the that's Mace. I heard oh, Mace he got, was like, helping like, him out though. That is Mace. He all got like the way. yeah Diddy written by Mace. Like he sound like Diddy, and Mace probably wrote it. Like, he got that Mace yeah. flow. It sound like mm. a Diddy. It sound like a Diddy single. It sound like when Diddy and Usher had the track. Like it sounds like a Diddy single to me. Uh. Brent Fires, the dude from uh, was it Golden? Sonder, from Son- he he sung the hook on he that Golden, Golden joint, Golden, right? Yeah, crew. okay. He got a joint called "Make Love." That's a dope song. Nipsey Hustle, dedication. Oh, that's a good one. Nipsey Hustle you know came I, with that's it, man. A good one. And I know here, I was biased towards Nipsey Hustle. I'm starting to kind of like it. <laughs> why were you biased? You know why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gang reasons. <laughs> I just thought he was so much of a crip dude. I'm like, I'm not listening to him. Like, I yeah. couldn't li- like. Look, hey, that's what it was. So I was biased to do. I'm and not, now I'm kind of like starting to he, like. He's him. put like, out a few t- a few joints here and there, but I just started becoming like. A I think like fan. everything he put out to promote this victory lap has been dope. Yeah, it has. So that's making me more of a fan. Like so at I'm first, really the marathon forward. thing, yeah. I wasn't really. 
when they I'm was really like a hundred dollars for it, because when they told me a hundred dollars for the album, then when I fi- well the mixtape whatever it was, and I finally heard it, I was like, a eh, hundred dollars really? You know what I'm saying? Right. So I was biased for a minute. Uh, now we can get now the Block Boy joint, the Look Alive with Drake. Now Drake absolutely killed that verse, body, trash. but not without controversy. He took Project Pat, Project Pat's verse. But is it uh, not paying uh, homage? Because Hov does this it's, all the no, time. He says paying homage, and then I did see he Project Pat. He always says it's paying homage, though. When yeah. he took rapping for Tate, but he yeah. paid. He paid rapping for Tate. Ten later, G's for that. later, after rapping for Tate, pointed out like, I mean, I, I salute Drake for steady re- making yeah. the. You trash know he's dudes of the. You know he's of good. the culture, though. What I like about Drake is you know he's of the culture. But yeah, he's dropping. He's he be jumping on these trash dudes joints. He and take then, like the and then he take like when he take somebody stuff like when he took rapping forte. Now he taking Project Pat. Like in their day, they was trash to me. Like Project Pat was trash. To oh me. man, you tripping? And Project he, Pat is a legend. He, yeah, he trash. And then Forte was trash, you know. And then he took their verses and made it high. So I give him that. Like I'm they wasn't like I wasn't looking for a Project Pat album ever. Same as I was never looking for a Three Six Mafia album. Like yeah, I look towards got bangers, but I, I look like, towards their production. Like the production for Hypnotize Mind was always dope. Hypnotize Mind production was always dope, but um, that music I wasn't caring for. Yeah, but I seen Project Pat congratulate him on Twitter. So I mean, not Twitter, but Instagram. So I guess there's no no beef there. Hey man, before we talked about Diddy, I heard you say Diddy. Yeah. Quick question: I need a girl, one or two? Two, one, two. I gotta go with two. Bing, go boom. Bing, but that loom bing, verse bing, on uh that oh bing, on, bing, on, on I need a girl one and that's what King Kong's Ooh. song sound like to me. It sound like I need a girl. That's which, what which it verse? Like that shit had you apologize for shit which you one? ain't even did. The loom verse. The loom verse on uh on part loom one was so much of a let part down. One. Man, loom was so much of a let produ- down. The production on part two is just immaculate. Like yeah. Mario Wines really did his thing there. Yeah. Then okay. you had genuine, like you got two R and B singers. You got two of them. One that's wasn't one, enough. That's one thing you could you could damn near like with Diddy the production. You can always know production is going to be on point with Diddy. Yeah, like you might not like his verses, but his production is going to be so loud that you're going to finish that song. I couldn't. I was like, oh my god. I still remember where I was at when I first heard that song. Like, oh my god. Like when you when you can when when the song hits you like that, like. I still remember I, the first time I heard Birthday Sex. Like, certain songs, I can remember exactly where I was at the first time I heard them. Hey, man, when I was in high school, I had braids. I used to do my, I used to do my baby hairs like GDY. That shit was so trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I almost called you the G word, but we're going to stay away from that word. <laughs> um, Chris Brown, man, um, he proposed a tour with himself, Bruno Mars, Rihanna, and Beyonce. That and he has been like getting a bad idea. trashed on Twitter for days. Um, is he not worthy to be on a tour with them? He just went platinum. Uh, from Rihanna, I'm like, nah. I'm yeah, that, that's, that's the that only reason. thing. Yeah, yeah, that's good. the only thing. Coming there like Ike Turner with the roses. <laughs> but Coming him and Rihanna's cool room. now. Yeah, they cool now. I, I mean, Rihanna's I think, this, this is how I look at it. For one, talent-wise, I think Chris Brown is probably the best performer. They're trashing him as if he's not worthy. He's not. But he's the best performer. So Why is he not? He's, not? he's the I, best I performer. Won't say, I, won't say he's, I won't say he's the best performer. Who's a better performer out of them? I like Bruno. Man, but Bru- that wave just started, I really. I like Bruno. I like Bruno, Bruno wave just started, he, man. But we he's coming with a live band, and dude, he can dance. We cannot. Yeah, because that's the cocaine. Insurance <laughs> Whatever. Talking. Whatever. But we cannot act like this Bruno wave has been going on for so long. Chris Bro, Brown has been, been putting liking, in work. I've been liking Bruno Mars since Grenade. And I haven't. The, Wait, fact, so, the so, fact that I don't, the fact that I'm saying Bruno Mars shocks the shit out of me. So Chris is a better performer than Beyonce? <laughs> He's not. Beyonce. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Beyonce yeah. has always been trash. Yeah, she has. A, she has a. That's great, she has a great. No, not she fat. The, 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 the beehive. That's y'all can get this work too, but no. Look, the beehive don't. is gonna attack you. You say please anything wrong about Beyonce? Look, yes, please dude, don't. Where it's like she's this mythical being, but she's worked that hard to get there. Bruno Mars yeah, is I, I, mean, I think uh, they, her Brown's and Jay-Z has just, her and Jay-Z, that relationship as a whole just took them to another level. But musically, Beyonce, what, I mean. She's a better singer. Y'all get Beyonce. She, she's, she makes better music. 
Who Y'all watched giving Beyonce, Beyonce, way Beyonce too much performance credit. and was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. She's a good singer. Yeah, because yeah. she, she fucking stands but in front of a fucking fan and blow that fucking see, Rapunzel ass weave saying. for 10 wise, minutes. I don't and think, that should be amazing. Like, performance wise, I want to see Chris Brown on stage. Performance wise, I want to see him. But on has stage. it has she become so great that we don't give a fuck about it now? Same no. thing with Floyd. Same shit. This is the with thing. Floyd. This I is the thing. It becomes so great this that we ignore thing. it. This is the thing. No, I think We're all confusing. of them on on the tours would be great. I think that'll be a great tour. Yeah, that would be major. That sounds. I would. I would. Go dis- pay tickets to see I that. disagree because them tickets sound like they're gonna be twenty five. Yeah, they would oh, for yeah. the nosebleeds. Oh, absolutely. Bruno charging four five hundred. Beyonce charging four five hundred. I don't know what Rihanna and Chris. But charging. for everybody God to damn. just be shitting on Chris, like, and I know Chris has done some. He didn't did some fuck shit in his career that people look at him in a, you know in negative light. But the man is putting work. I don't know if I want to go see Chris Brown in a in a stadium tour. I, think, I he, he's, I heard he, Chris Brown gets gets busy. I think Chris Brown can he can give you an hour show. Chris Brown can give you a he has an hour of hits. hits. He has hits. I, yeah. I cannot he, front that like first that first hits. album is certified classic. He have hits. Even exclusive though. That first album is certified exclusive classic. Like. Exclusive. If y'all, I wasn't, if y'all wasn't bumping his debut album in high school, I don't know if I want to hear. Bugging. It. I don't want. I don't know if I. I don't believe. I don't believe that Chris Brown anymore. I don't believe that was it. I don't believe Bug you. It. I don't believe you. You can we can bump say goodbye right now and it would sound like popping it. too. Popping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, do that again. We own it. No. Popping. Look at the lip flip. <laughs> look at the lip flip. <laughs> We need a video for that on my uh, mama. Hey, look, man. Hey, I have Papa though repeat too, bro. No, listen. Okay. Oh man. I, I get that part. The Bruno that. thing is just he had okay. He had grenade. Grenade was a hit. What else? Give me his hits right now off the off the dome. We can do that with Chris Brown. We can even do that with Rihanna. I don't know if you can do Renee, that with Beyonce. Uh, I'm sorry. What's the song? He don't feel like doing nothing. Today I don't feel like doing. That was a that, that wasn't was his, his song. That was his. That hit. was his song. I thought that was no. That was the that dude was Travis. Hard. Um. And then that no, was, that he was, was Jim on the Class hook. Heroes. He was on the Jim hook. Class that wasn't his song. Yeah, 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 you're right. That was his song. No, it, it's no, no, on the was, doo-wop. That no, was that it's wasn't the his dude, song. it's the dude um it's the, it's Travis from Jim Class Heroes. Travis somehow. Tiger's cousin. Yeah, you're right. That was Jim Class Heroes song. No, bro. Yeah, was, that's not his song. You're He's right. on the hook. You're right. You're right about that. Okay, go ahead. Um, yeah, man, uh Beyonce, her first album is classic. Classic. That's it. Uh, I haven't. I've. You know what? I've never heard Formation, but from what I understand, it's classic. that is Bruno Mars' song, the lazy song. It's the Bruno Mars. It's on the doo wop and, and it's on the doo wop's album. But then it's on. It got to be on that other dude's album too, because he's. I don't know. Bruno don't know is just. Bruno is just on on the uh, on the hook. I'm a Bruno fan. He he sings. That okay, whole all right. Song. That's it. Lazy song. Keep going. Twenty four karat. Keep going. What's the other song? finesse? This, Keep going. That's what I like. That's what I like. Keep going. And then, um, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 30 minutes set. <laughs> Get your ass off the stage. Absolutely well, no, not. he don't have more songs than Chris Brown, hit wise, but he has songs. Like, he has songs. Yeah, but we can't be acting like, man, Chris don't be putting in the work. No, I, I'm just saying, I where said, does Beyonce fit I in? I said, Chris, oh, Gorilla. I forgot about Gorilla. I, I was like, damn, it's a song called Gorilla, ain't it? Man, okay, Rihanna, Chris Brown, and Bruno Mars, okay. I think if y'all I, keep I, leaving Beyonce, where the fuck does she come in? At? First of all, she first has all, hits. First of all, hits. way too hits. many hits. Beyonce got a hits, bunch bro. of hits. Man, knock it off. Knock it off. Way too first many. First of all, give me a hit. Give me a hit that's not on her first album besides uh, One Plus One and Love on Top. Single ladies. Oh, get the fuck out. Formation. Of single See, now that's Formation. a concert that I don't even want to fuck. Go to. That's a hit though. Irreplaceable. Formation. Irreplaceable. All of them trash to me. But listen though, it's I not mean, about hear, you. At the this end, it's not about you. Hey, I'm it's talking not, about it. She's not performing and right now, for I'm not motherfucking Absolutely. going to a motherfucking concert to see her por- performing them trash ass hits she's in front saying, of a fan okay, with me. that long ass blonde weave. <laughs> at the end of the day, she's not getting on it. Drunk in love, crazy. Like, she's not getting on. I said there. not on her first album. Drunk in love. Drunk in love. Nah, nah, nah. That was so. That's the rose talking. We get. What is that other one? Partition. Partition. That shit. I don't know what that is. I heard of it. But hey, I'm not going to sing it, but... And then yeah. Lemonade is still, like, they still going to go crazy man, for them. On, like man. Beyonce gets way too much at the, credit. At right the end of the day, day, you want to go to the concert to see Legs, and Beyonce's going to bring if out If you want to see legs, legs, Kelly Rowland has carried 
Stop. Destiny's I'm not, I'm not talking about the legs on stage. I'm, oh. talking the, I'm talking about the legs in the audience. What did you say? Kelly Rowland is the face of no. Destiny's <laughs> Child, bro. Stop. That's Spence. That's, that's Stop. Spence talking Man, to everybody. Man, you fucking pull up we that. We uh, this now. He is that trash. Destiny's Child cover. What's the cover? Okay, Michelle. Then Michelle is who? Oh, Michelle's trash. We don't even talk about Michelle. I mean, I like I like Kelly. Kelly looks good. She's the face of Destiny's Child. How many Child, hits though? does she have? Two? Michelle is the plug on the end of the crutches. Kelly, Kelly has two a, hits. Two. Motivation. I think Motivation and uh, Kelly Beyonce like has a, ice or something Beyonce like that. has a it? better team behind her. Kelly Beyonce is the it. more talented one. No. How? Can you disagree? I you disagree. I disagree. Highly disagree. One hundred thousand percent. You think Kelly Rowland can't sing better than Beyonce? I, no. No. Man, y'all Nor can she dance bugging. better than Beyonce. Beyonce don't do shit but the fucking the single lady shit. Bro, Beyonce. Beehive. He gonna give you. His, he gonna give you his Twitter name <laughs> at the end of the day. At the end of the podcast. Hey, I'm sorry, dude. I, all I see, dude, is like she's standing in a fan for uh, an hour, that's blowing some, her fucking blonde hair. I'm that's sorry. Some, that's we are shit. not talking about a BT performance. I'm to, well, Yeah, we talking about a fucking on stage, <laughs> and we ain't even talk about Rihanna. God damn, you see me, man, man? Look. I mean, I don't want to sperm inside her. Fuck all of them. I will go see Rihanna by herself. Why? Cause she looks and good. I don't even like all of the music. Just you don't yes. like majority of the music. I don't want to go see you look good. I can see you look what? good on Instagram. I want to go see yeah, you I'm, I'm perform. Cool. Hey man, I want to see you perform. That I'm potato cool. salad and them ribs. She she's Got attractive. Her looking amazing. She's attractive. Now when she did the little uh the little dirty wine or whatever you call it, I, the video was like a couple yeah, years ago. Yeah, with Drake. Oh. Remember the the video she just did with Drake with uh what was the song uh. Damn. Work. Work. She did good in work. God bless her. She got like two songs with Drake, right? Uh uh, what's the other one? I was just listening to it the other work. day. It's work though. Work. work. Work was good. Uh sh- what's the what's the other But then it's like she's the girl at high school that you know is hella bad, but she might burn you. So you gotta like go in with like a full body. One name popped up right in my head when I when you said that, but I ain't gonna say her name. I ain't gonna say her name. I'm um, I'm just not I don't know. Chris Brown, but um What's my name? That's the video. What's my name? She was talking about. Hey, take, that was the one. She was talking about taking in the butt on that song too. <laughs> hey, and I loved that was it. the one. I loved Rundries. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, Chris into? Brown has eighty-seven songs that's been on the Billboard chart. Beyonce has had fifty-eight. Rihanna has fifty-nine, and Bruno has twenty-two. Twenty-two songs. Okay. That sounds like a cool set. Yeah, thirty minutes. But it's because he minutes? be so coked out. It's not thirty minutes. He can turn a thirty minute set, a thirty minute set into two no, hours. Twenty two songs is thirty minutes. F- first off, his live band is amazing. Like there Bruno's live band is amazing. There you go. They can carry a crowd by themselves. There like you he go. can walk off stage. They're going to carry the crowd, and they're going to at some point. He's going to do the outfit change halfway through. Thank you. And they're going to show. And they're going to and they're going to hold him down. Kelly, baby, I love you. Kelly can't. Sp- Kelly Silver Nugget. That's because of Matthew Knowles <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> Matthew Knowles did that. Yeah, she, that fucking she was performing at Craig Ranch yeah. Park. Yeah, um, Kelly will bring back Cashman Field. <laughs> uh, Drake dropped a um, a surprised uh, and interesting interview with DJ Simtex on his OVO Sound Radio. What is that on? Uh, is it on iTunes? What is that on? Apple Music. I Apple Music? Okay. Um, and, of course, you know, he again has to address the ghostwriting allegations. Oh, I had so many Is plugs. he the poster child for ghostwriting? Yeah, because he's, yeah, he's the big—he's the biggest artist that's been accused of it. I, I like what Drake said in that interview, though. What did he say? He basically was saying, like, with the ghostwriting, he said, "He's like, I'm the best writer ever. I, I had no ghostwriter." He said, "He said, yeah, Quentin Miller came in. He was like, but he wasn't my ghostwriter. He was like, I made them songs. I wrote them tracks. He was like, we collabed. He made it more so like they collabed. Like we collabed. He was like." But since Meek Mill was in his feelings, he wanted to really point it out there, and now people was running with that. But that is not the whole truth. And he was like, anybody who has been in the studio with me knows that I am one of the greatest writers ever. There, nobody can sit in the studio with him and write better than him. I don't. Hey, I, I think his pen game is amazing. And he said it's that. his ideas. I don't think those are his ideas. Like Michael Jackson, but that's why he, he said takes collab. other people's ideas and perfects them. That's why he said they did a good collaboration. 
because yeah, but like you, like what, you can't what were those forget like, Drake still dropped. Drake if first you're album was still amazing. No, he had um. What are the tracks called when you? Oh, reference tracks. Refer- track. There are reference tracks out there, and I don't think he he hasn't. And he said that's how it came about. Yet. He said he he said that he told, I think it was forty. Dang, I had to plug on this. I was hard to pull it up, but he said that he told, I guess it was forty, that he wanted to do a mixtape, and he was like, "Look, I had this guy, Quinn Miller, or whatever, and he has dope ideas." And Drake was like, "Go ahead and bring him through," and so he's not denying nothing, but he's saying like, "Don't let that be." You can't judge me for just that. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, you Drake still has albums before that that was great, but and that was a mixtape. That has nothing to do yeah. with his album. It's just, he just can't be the GOAT. I mean, Kanye's the same way. He had Consequence, Rhyme Fest, um, maybe not GLC from, on maybe, College maybe Dropout. From, maybe not from a lyrical standpoint. He got but like high. Production, yeah. Production-wise, though, Kanye is a fucking beast. Yeah, he's a beast. But as far as rapping, he, he had a ton of ghostwriters. Yeah, do yeah. we discredit him? Do we discredit his catalog? See, and that is... Um, that is the thin line. Like, at the end of the day, the question is, do you make good music? I think we can sit here and we can debate about your pen game. And Drake, are you a and, true, and are you a true kinda, lyric? But is your music good? And Drake spoke on that. Like, he spoke on, like, most he, said, lyrics he could point out most of the most of the industry for that. Like, most, most of the industry. can't make a hit at all. They can't. And we're, no, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big lyric head like that's what i'm looking for but i'm not just gonna be yeah that's why you like nas boo the goat but <laughs> yeah but, but okay but, but there's a bigger discussion to be had like do you classify drake's music as hip-hop music i think um, i i think as when you when you making music his platform i think as you grow like when he first started it he was basically he was doing all rapping and singing, singing, right? But eventually you have to tap into where your market is. Okay. So now as he gets bigger, his music expands. So now he can not, make I'm now not. he can make R and B joints. Now he can make rap songs. Now he can make pop songs. Now he can make rap songs with um with the, the London twist I'm way good. he was on. I'm Comeback season out. was a backpack rapper mixtape. He can take he takes he takes the wave at the time and perfects it. You got to give it to him. But at the end of the day, it's no matter how much we trash him or the ideas, where he get these ideas from, the music is always good. Yeah, I disagree. What? I disagree. I To, to me, Drake has gotten progressively worse since. He just put out two fucking songs that. Lyrically, he's gotten crazy. worse, but sonically. He's, he's, he's not going to lose He's, a, he's, he's a, not going to lose Hey, man. He's making pop music. You he's, can tell yeah. on, on Diplomatic Immunity. <laughs> yeah, he's back in his bag. He was that. that was that was classic Drake right there. I'm I'm missing it. I'm missing it somewhere. Like I I haven't seen Houston Atlanta Vegas Drake. Even God's plan. God's plan ain't no ain't no hit. I mean, I just I I think <sighs> once you get so far in your career, you just like you I'm not, grow. I'm you not looking for him. Like, I'm not looking for him to be the old Drake. I want him to like. I'm not looking for Jay Z to drop a big pimpin' again. You know what I'm saying? I think like, Drake. True. Drake makes. Drake makes music. Drake makes as a collective. Um, he hasn't made great albums, in my no, opinion. He hasn't. But I like to take care. Take care. Take care is was good. I classic. Don't classic. I don't know if That's classic. his only classic though. The mix. The first mixtape. The the once upon so far him, gone. So far gone. That was the only classic. Uh, complete, I can a skip a few. Bite. I can skip a, a few. Cu- maybe on a there. couple, but overall, to me, that's a classic. Everything else has gotten progressively worse. To me, I think no. I would say I would say um, the first one kind of went down a little bit, and then he came back with "Take Care." That was a good look for him. But like, mm-hmm. hold on, I'm looking it up right now. Yes, "Take Care" is a certified classic. Take I think, like, like Eminem said. You know he will always be. That's the that that was him at his peak when he did the Marshall, uh, Marshall Mathers. Mathers LP. Sure. I think that was Drake. Drake at his peak that album, but Drake still makes songs that has the world 
at his attention. Yeah, T Pain makes the good song. Yeah, and so his album as a collective may not be good, but the joints he put out is good enough to you be like, I gotta go check. That yeah, out. I agree with you. He has been living off of singles if you think about it. Singles and features, he's been eating off I, of those. I, I like I like the old Drake, the new Drake. I don't really care for, but I think everybody has that point. Like with Eminem, like Eminem has said um, recently when they were speaking on this new album, like when I make uh, when I make something like Marshall, when I'm talking bad about the pop groups, y'all mad at me. When I stop doing that, y'all mad at me. When I like, you're going to be mad regardless. So let me just yeah. do what I do. Like let me just do whatever I'm feeling at that moment. And that's just about music, being in the studio. Like it's what what you feeling at that moment. You can you're not going to satisfy everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not going to like. They love this new one. Some people love the new Wayne when he had his lit era. I wasn't Trash. into that new Wayne. You know what I'm saying? So it's True. like you just got to let them have it. How they spot? I, I'm not looking for a Drake album, but I haven't looked for a Drake album since Take Care. So okay, so no, you I, ain't looking for an album, but have you listened to? I yeah, I've listened to. There you go. But I, okay, this is the thing about listening to. To me, is the going back and re-listening to it. If I listen to a it and I, it. and I just eh, then, even then even that's great it. albums because this is such a, a microwave society. Even great albums we tend to not go back and listen to True. just because there is so much content being put out. Chris Brown released 40-something fucking songs. But the replay Ray value Schremer, is what makes an album. Yeah, but I'm saying Ray Shrimmer is finna drop a triple disc. There is so much content being released. If you're a music head, you really ain't got time to go back and listen to something. I haven't listened to the first Ray Shrimmer, so it don't matter to me. Hey, right. man. I haven't um, listened to any of it. Um, but he did, man, drop an amazing bar about the Grammys. Uh, he said, we've been conditioned to think that this is the true award for our accomplishments, for our music. Agreed. And he didn't submit his music this year. Agreed. We all, the the hip-hop community as a whole, needs to have that same attitude. Because right now, it's like we keep going just to get mad that they're not, rec they're, they're not showing us any recognition. And then we get upset about it. And then the next year... We're excited. We're excited. Then we're mad again. Mm. Are we not? I, well, I don't. I don't really watch the Grammys though. Like I don't. I'm, I watch it. If I watch it, I'm watching it for the performances. I don't really give a shit who wins. What? It's not like to me. It's a meaningless award. Okay. Um. Bobby lights. Y'all fucking with him? <sighs> Absolutely. That's the wrong Bossed. word. <laughs> That's the wrong hey, word. It's time for some dick talk. <laughs> Uh, I suddenly have to use the restroom, so I'm gonna excuse myself from the. Room hey man, time. um, does does anybody know anything about him? No, nah. I tell I tell you this, like you know, the first time I heard it, I had my son in the car, and uh, not knowing what to expect, I didn't know who this dude was or what he was, and my son looked at me like, "Yo," and I'm like, "Yo, what yeah. the fuck?" It's a lot of dick talk. Man, man, I wasn't ready for that at all. Like I damn near, I damn near pulled the car but, over. Okay, uh, but excluding the dick talk, no, even without the dick are, talk, does he have? No, bars. I didn't even listen to it. I no, he he still sounded bad. I mean, he didn't sound like nothing I'd buy. He didn't sound like somebody I'd be like, oh, if he went in the studio, he got some. He might have some talent. Before we get into the freestyle, because I am gonna play this freestyle. Before Lord, we get, Lord are Jesus. we ready for a gay rapper? Like, shit, I, it's a lot of them. It depends. We like no. it I'm going no. up uh, on no. a Tuesday. No, Damn, we, we know that it's, we know there's a lot of gay rappers, but have we fully accepted the gay rappers? Like, an openly gay like, rapper. Did, like, did he say like, yeah, like oh. an openly gay rapper? Like, we know I'm they're pretty out sure there. they'll be like, oh my god, now have I can we do really it. No, no, because remember, it, it was that rapper dude that had the song. Throw the boy, throw the boy pussy. Wait, what? You never heard that one? Yeah, it was throw a, that it was boy a pussy. Boy pussy. Whoa. No, I didn't. And I said, "Yo, I would say, yo, Jesus too. is coming back any day now. Hey, Amen. This is what's going on. Jesus is coming back any day well, now. Jesus was a side baby, so he can't. <laughs> I yeah. mean, again, that, Lord, that was Spence, so <laughs> he can't judge. He was definitely a side baby. So, um, but I'm, I'm saying, so uh, openly gay, <laughs> like saying. because now. This this is where we go into double standards. We accept the lesbians. Who we accept the studs. Who? Well, Young and May. I I am a huge 
proponent of the lesbian community. No, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. I'm, I have nothing, nothing against that. I'm saying as the culture, uh, the culture, like who other than Young and May, and Young and May has spits fire. She's a fire spitter. Like I'm not the part where she was like, she give me deep throat. I'll, that threw me. So we won't get mad at a gay rapper if he can spit. If if he's saying if some he shit that really I can relate can to. Because okay. mind you, I if she, times, if Young May is talking about getting deep throat, I can relate well, to that. I, I, I think don't, times I don't know have, if you going to relate to a gay rapper dude times, if you're not right. gay. I think times have but he, changed. He doesn't have to talk about his sexuality in every song. If he's talking just about. Give, yeah, just give me give me content. You know how I know yeah, times know, has I changed? It's because we're getting ready to play it. <laughs> this, this is a podcast. This was radio. We definitely didn't play this. This shit. is the segment okay. we call Dick Talk. <laughs> nah, this is definitely a one-time segment. Here we go. Here we go. That they feel me yet. Bad motherfucker, shut down your whole set. Me and my crew come through, we make moves. You bought a couple thugs, but they ain't fucking with my goons. Your brother, your cousin, your uncle, they some cartoons. Look, my rhyme game's so sick, I might make you Earl. Nookie's so good, make a baller wanna twirl. <laughs> Bobby better known for breaking hearts. Bars like a booty hole, tight nigga topping all the charts. <laughs> Rapping like he back in 89, red bone so fine. Best MC of all time. My state walk make all the dudes wanna hump. Caught your man daydreaming, he was thinking about this rump. Some say my mouth foul, so what? Yo. The game turned filthy. Ever since Trina told us she would once she's 10 all because i like a little cock in my butt nigga fuck me slow never said i like it rough <laughs> if you ain't putting down on my bills you can bite the tongue motherfucker that's real now nah, i ain't jenny from the block but my ass so fat make a bottom wanna top like all the square house music need to stop blow Yo. your whole head off you calling that hip-hop all right <laughs> <Don't get it. laughs> hey. i just hey my stomach hurts <laughs> hey man look <laughs> okay, so he so we're going to say, we're going to say okay before you start. Okay, we're going to say if you take out the dig talk, it was trash. Did he have bars? No, nah. If it was a female, see, are rapper, y'all, nah, let's see, take nah, it from there are because y'all we all straight biased. guys. No, if it was no. a female rapper and she was basically talking about what he's talking about, would you be like, oh? Or would you be like, ah, eh, she's still trash? Oh. Like I, I never liked the Trina. I always thought Trina was trash, right? Like as far as a rapper, yeah. So it don't. It didn't matter how freaky she was talking. I was like, uh, she sucked. Right. But when Little Kim was rapping, I was like, now Little Kim got bars. Back in the day, like the old Little Kim, I was like, okay, she kind of got bars though. Like, so it. So is it bars? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, take out the dick talk and the bias. I, it's still trash. It's still trash to me. To me, I still don't like it. T fat, you looking uncomfortable. Nah. That's one of Ray, Ray J's booty goons that he was talking about. T fat is not. That was wild. Not here for no, but like if he if he had skill, I'd be like, all right, cool. If he had skill, I'd be like, all right, then fuck it. Let me hear you talk about. Let me hear you talk about the struggle. Let me hear you talk about whatever you're going through. Besides that, but no, like no, like I agree. You talked about little Kim. Little Kim had it was. She may not have been the best, but it was something about her that made you listen to her every she time she talked. A little talked. bit of bars, like you, she had some bars. She had some bars in there. Lil I don't Kim know if it was her swagger. I don't know if it was her flow, but it was something about Lil Kim that made me listen to her. Like, even, like I, I never listened to her and got super turned on, but it was just like it was something about she her. She didn't write her shit. It's kind of like it's kind of like okay, like Shauna and Ludacris battle the sexes. Like Shauna still had bars, hey. even though she talked about some freaky stuff on that album. I'm not going she to still lie. Had some you bars. remember the "What's Your Fantasy" remix? Yes, I yes. think I was in my early teens, and that was the first time I heard women moan on the track. Oh um, man, you got the little pink thing. <laughs> <laughs> the pink hey, look, man. Hey, track. man. Ooh wee. I ain't mad at you. Which one sounded better? Out of who? Trina, Shauna. Who was it? Trina, Shauna, and Eve. And was it Eve? No, I don't think it was Eve. Eve was on a uh, uh, my bitch bag. My bitch. I know it was Trina and Shauna. I like I like Shauna as a spitter though. Was it Foxy? I don't remember. Hey man, we so trash at this. Yeah, we all. I remember the Damn. track, but I don't really remember. I just like, remember them moaning, and I was like, "Oh my it's, god!" It was like who was hot at the time. I don't even remember who was hot at the time. Like Shauna can go though. I just yeah, I mean, like, as go. a spitter, I don't know about her music. Um, but as a no, spitter? I think Ludacris dropped the ball on that whole label. He did. He had some talent over there. Man, fine ass Janae Janae Aiko. Um. Big Sean, 
finessed her into a date, man, just by offering her courtside seats at a basketball game. Can't be mad at him for that. Damn, that is that easy, huh? I mean, even I, while I she was in a relationship, she's saying she wasn't though. She was in a relationship. They was going but through she's shit. She's saying she wasn't. She said it she, wasn't a date though. She might. She made it. Seem she like said it was a date. I mean, ain't it already chemistry? Wasn't like already chemistry that like they was yeah. They court doing, side, she's turning to court side dick. But I'm saying they had been doing songs since way before. Like they had already had the studio sessions popping off. So maybe he was already giving dick before he went court side. No, he was with what's the name at the time, wasn't he? Who cares about that? when did court that matter? Courtside C's turned courtside. No, I don't think he would be in public because oh, that's the one that was crazy. The one he was with that was crazy. What was it? The girl from Glee. But I think that's where it started. My thing is, her her boyfriend. What kind of sucking shit is that? You just gonna fucking tell me that you going to, on a on a date? It's some oh, so shit. Basketball he game because you ain't like, never been courtside. He probably like cool. We going on a date. He probably like cool because somebody sliding through here anyway. What like, you what? Now I don't have to lie about trying to get you Yo, out of the you house. You gonna sit your ass on this couch? You gonna do something else with them them joint? Because you gonna sit this sit your ass on this couch and we finna watch this game, man. You never, but you never know. You that. can't agree to know. As a man, like how, it's a different man. I can't even say it's a different era because it's old. But I don't know what the fuck he was on. He probably didn't give a shit. Do you see her? She's bad. Yeah, what? but she's she's bad. They're to, bad though. She's bad to us. Her though. and her sisters. Like she okay, they're bad oh, to what us. What you mean just bad but, uh, to us? Janae Aiko is bad. She, first period. of all, you know you know how I feel about the female anatomy. So Janae Aiko gets a thumbs down from me <laughs> there. <laughs> We're not gonna bad. get into that because you know I don't want to alienate any of my yeah. listeners. But um, no, they need to know. They need I mean, to know. I'm, I'm a titty man, so Janae Aiko, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's she, Her face is beautiful. Her, like, she has a nice frame, but I'm, and plus I'm a thicker, so I don't like little I don't like little frames anyway. Like, if I can't lay on you for like 10 seconds at a time, <laughs> I can't fuck with you. That's definitely, she, so she's definitely out for me. Plus the titties, so. thicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need, them, I need them with some meat on. I need, I need somebody, you got to at least man, have look. been pregnant once or twice, because, geez Louise, you got to have some meat on you. I'm, I'm definitely not eating her butt. But like, is she industry fine though? Is she industry fine or is she industry she regular? Me. She is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Beautiful. She's she's cool, but I mean, I'm pretty sure you, it's a it's a thousand this Janae right here walking shows around you, in man, the industry. This right here proves to skinny, everybody, man. I love skinny chicks, so she's on. Oh, for she, me. she's right up your alley. This, this, but but I'm saying this shows you, this shows us, man. As men, we walking around here, man. We don't know our worth, man. Hey, like, if, if Beyonce can get cheated on, but, like, man, but, I mean, man, we know we, we can have a black man in the world. Hey, man, and everybody men, period, can love her and you gonna be like, uh, yeah, you know I'm saying like that. Men, period, we man, we get a bad rap, but we don't cheat. But no. we walking around here and we don't know our words, man. We getting treated like this. I definitely don't <laughs> cheat. I just want to go to Bible study and go home. It's a cold game out here, man. Um, speaking of cold game, Troy Av. Oh, why do they keep giving him a platform? Controversy sells. We need them clicks, baby. We need them clicks. Uh, T Fats, man, the streets is a myth. Yeah, that nigga's tripping. <laughs> the way he try to package um, the thing on snitching is crazy. Okay, now, okay, this is what I need with Troy Ave real quick before we go into it. Like, somebody has to give me this background story because, like, me watching the interview. Mm -hmm. Without the background story, I started to get it later. Yeah. But me watching the interview at first, without the background story, the way that he said it, being a street dude, I'm with the like, nah, you foul. Being on the side of like the way that he explained it to Envy, like if a guy comes in and he shoots me and he shoots my boy and I shoot him back, like sh should I? And then now they're trying to say that I'm the killer. Or whatever, like, shouldn't I be able but to say, like, the, no, he that's did it? The, that's the, what you portray, though. So now all of a sudden the streets is a myth because now you're in some street shit? No, I don't believe the streets is a myth. No, the streets is real. But real. The niggas streets die is every real. day. But what, what I'm saying is, to that standpoint, like, I don't know... I don't know the full background story, right? I'm, so I would have to know the background story to fully have a... To fully before, judge. before we get into it, I applaud Charlemagne for not being there. If y'all noticed, yeah, and he spoke on that because Boom. it's Why? his it's his boy. 
tax dollars is born. But it, but I I understand that. But if you and you got and you got to quit, you got to quit giving it energy. At, like people, lives have been lost. Whether and, it and be that's what whether that's it what be said. whether it be somebody, you know, being buried, God bless the dead, or it's somebody in prison. You know what I mean? And it's like. The trial, I don't think the trial hasn't started. The healing process, nobody's really healed because what he's he's in tool. I mean, he's not really on um he's not really in contact with Vanga's family. That was his brother, his boy. Yeah. Um, you know, Tax Stone is still in prison. Um, you got Charlemagne there as a host. It, it it's all an ugly scenario being being put out there for the world to see when that's this is real life we talking about but if Charlemagne got on the radio and called him a snitch why wouldn't he stand because behind he that? is a snitch but I don't want to talk to a snitch either but and his, I don't his boy talk. tax did the same shit he wrote a note to the judge so I mean are we see, giving that, passes that's, on snitching that's what I need to know I need to know that full background like where, 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 where was it snitching or was it what yeah what was, what, what was I didn't, I didn't what he wrote a letter, Tax wrote a letter telling the judge or implicating Troy Ave and a whole bunch of shit and other things that he's done. Was that was that from Tax or was that from his lawyer? It was it was from his lawyer. Well, but if you let if you let your lawyer put out a statement like that, still well, I mean, at the end so of yeah, day, that, true. That's yeah. snitching. that's snitching. I mean, like what what, what Troy Ave said that I paid attention to an in interview, he basically said like if me and somebody like okay, me and Ivan. If me and Ivan go rob a bank and we get caught, okay, you know, I I knew the consequences. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? I'm taking this. But if I if it, I had nothing to do with it, do I really want to sit down for life? I'm not justifying what he's saying. Me being a street dude, like you sit down for it. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm not saying nothing because I feel like I've got away with so much in life. Like this is just karma catching me in my ass. Yeah. Like it's so many people in prison for crimes that they didn't commit, yeah. but they more so like, I committed a lot of bullshit too, yeah. so, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's more so his life and the persona he he portrays. Yeah. Um, It's just he's I've never very heard of Troy contradictive. Ab record until So it's hard bullshit. to believe, it's hard to believe who he really is portraying at a certain point in time because he shows like five or six different you know, five or six different kind of personas of Maybe himself. Maybe that's why he tried to call himself the new Pac. And, and then, um, <laughs> you know, people are trying to heal or people are trying to fight their case. You got a case going on, and then you decide to put a video out. You know what I mean? I know the song is old. The song came out during Christmas time. And in the song, he said he killed the dude or some shit. Yeah, the like, song he came out because he, he puts out White Christmas. It was called White Christmas, I think, every year. But you just put the video out. That was your decision. And you decided to portray yourself on the stand like that. You're putting yourself in these positions, and then you want to get on the radio and try to act like a victim. Are you showing growth? I, I He tried to say he was showing growth. Trying to throw religion in, in material possessions. Growth, as if the only growth thing I seen was the Steve shit. Because Steve killed that, himself, yeah. and that was mad disrespectful. Yeah. Like, that shit was so out of line, but I do I do respect him for that. Any of that snitching shit, nah. Yeah, I don't respect I don't respect none of that. Like after watching that, I've been watching a different shit. Then I watched the my son speak on it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I my standpoint is kind of what my son's standpoint was prior to seeing my son's standpoint. Like I feel where he's coming from. And like, what's that? He was basically saying like when you in these streets, like the streets is real, and then y'all want to glorify. Y'all want to glorify without telling these kids. And then after glorifying it, y'all want to say, okay, sell drugs, kill people, rob, do what you want to do. And then when you, when it's time to be a man and, and hold up your, your side of it, tell. Like, yeah. that's, that where, that's where it's wrong at. You know what True. I'm saying? Like, if this is what you chose, choose that. Absolutely. Like, if you're a square, you're not into this life, and it gets in, gets in your path some way, and you tell, I, that's what I expected. Yeah. Now, but if... This is the life I'm living. Like, I'm not finna glorify, like you say, like Troy Ave glorifying on all these records. Like, I went back and listened to a couple songs afterwards. So, you was claiming you was this, this, yeah. Like, niggas know I'm a killer. Like, yeah. you was this dude. So, now that you, and then 
then my son spoke on that he don't even really have a murder. It's not it's a, a murder gun case. Char- it's a simple gun charge. It's a gun charge. But it's that's not in even New a York, mur- though. I think. But you got to lay shoot. down for that. If you're yeah. talking that gangster shit, you might as well have, have a, a, a murder charge. Like they don't play around True. with guns. That, in New that's York. five. That's like five minutes. They don't play around. Didn't Lil Wayne just sit down for eight months for a gun charge in yeah. New York? True. Was it like a? I think it was a two. No, it was eight months. It was eight months. It was eight months. I thought it was longer than that. It was a year county time. Shit, okay. eight nine months. A year with that motherfucking food. Hey, nah, look, I did like two. <laughs> look, so. um, man, we gonna you know we gonna get off of that. Uh, that just that zaps your energy, man. Um, how do y'all feel about LeBron James rebooting House Party? Uh, it depends. If it ends up like um, like the movie Dope. If it ends up kind of like Dope was solar dope. Dope was dope was a cult classic. Very dope. So if it ends up something like dope, then I'm here for it. But I mean, why do you not, think it would end up like dope? Not like, not like the same storyline. Just like kind of the same colorful, feel. Oh, same like feel. That. Like I don't think I don't, like. And LeBron saying it's not a reboot because he's not doing. He's doing the total. He he just it's that. the same energy. I think House Party isn't one of those classics that you can't touch. House Party is a classic to us, but it's not one of those classics where we'll be up and arguing like. Don't fucking touch but that. But aren't we on number five now? Yeah. No, he's totally he, he's totally five. like this is he's totally revamping the whole thing. So same it's like, same it, people? No. 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 So it's like Creed. Okay. It's not like Rocky. It was like Creed kind of did his own thing and just kind of had Well, the Rocky Creed still thing. had like going was going off the storyline of the past Rockies. So are we sure that that's I think not he's he's saying he's totally this is totally different storyline to Is he naming the house party? Right, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, if house you, party reboot. If you got into a house party that's reboot, that's what he said. You got to incorporate he's some of those. Producing a house party reboot, you got to incorporate some of those elements. Then, I, I think mean, I'm thinking it'd be it very colorful, but I think it can it can transcend in this yeah. era. I, I think he, I think you can touch it, like, but I don't touch it without kid and play. I, I don't care if you don't want to. They're too they're too play. old and washed. So what? I mean, put them in there as a cameo, like oh, yeah, like how you did, like like. You know, like when you how they did like the Power Rangers. We don't where they, they, they was kind of like they were kind of like a cameo. Like you had to look for them, but the you are producing a House Party film in 2018. House Party came out what early 90s? Early 90s. Mm-hmm. The kids are this movie is going to be for the kids. It has to be. They're not gonna make an old ass House Party. We all in there hella. Old and washed, the dancing the Luther. Really know about it. I mean, yeah. yeah, but now, but how many dance tracks is there now? You can totally revamp it. How many dance no, he tracks? Can. Is there? He can. So he can. I think he would he would gear towards the kids, and then the kids would be with the kids. They don't know who the fuck kid and play is. Yeah. So they don't need to. No, nah, they definitely need to pay homage. It, you we, have to pay homage. Yeah, you but you gonna homage. put them in? You gonna put them in the movie or uh, like a, like a cameo? Like I said, when I was watching Power Rangers, like you. I had to pause it and like look in the background, like, oh, that's them do, right do there. The, do the Force MDs deserve a spot too? I think one is one of them. Are they all still alive? Oh, I have one no did. clue. I have no clue. I, I know, know one of them. I know one of those guys from H Town yeah. died. That's about it. Um, I mean, I'm sure he'd do some cameos, but like I said, it's not gonna be like not not whole like fe- feature parts. I mean, I, I just think kid. I think think kid and play has to play some type of a role. Have to. What but about, what but about you do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like you you do what you want to do. I think he can revamp it. I don't like you said. It's for the kids. I don't think I would be looking for it. So yeah, yeah. If the kid the kids love LeBron, so hey, they do. It's kind of like when they was talking about LeBron was supposed to do the new Space Jam. He's still supposed to. I don't. But like. I need LeBron to get his hair issues together first. Like yeah. I don't want to look at that shit. On It'll be painted on. It'll be digitally yeah. altered. Do, do so, whatever Deion Sanders did, do that shit. Cause uh, I don't want to look at that shit for two hours. I hey don't. man, um, shout out to Chris Rock on his Netflix deal. Man, it drops tomorrow. Surprise! He just put it out today, and it drops tomorrow. Monique, Bro, um, look at that check. When will Monique re? You know, when will her and her she, husband realize that they made the wrong move? She gonna have to. She gonna have to do that shit herself. Like, that, that, like I, I watched the Gary, uh, the Gary Owen interview, and he said that's how he he's always done his specials. He's like, I shoot them myself and I shop them. He's like, I, I mostly go to the Showtime, but and this is what we were saying. She was trying and to I get. She was trying to get a special without doing no work. Chris Rock was on the road. This this special right here, I'm hearing this special right here is from when he was here in Vegas. Yeah, I, uh, who who did I just watch? Somebody I was just watching somebody and they were just saying uh, Jeff Ross, the Roastmaster, and he was just saying how Chris Rock just had a tour or something like so, that. So, Monique, get your ass on the road, 
Stop fucking you and your husband crying on fucking social media. Yeah, which is what I said. And you go gotta, to work. You gotta you gotta heat up. You don't just you know what I'm saying. She wants she wants to be paid sight unseen. Like go heat up first. Like you, you complaining about Amy Schumer, but Amy Schumer is hot already. It's crazy for Chris Rock to have that special coming out. Like I was just looking at some old Chris Rock stuff like two days ago, like good hair and stuff like that. Like he got so much. Like he did so much. So his Netflix special is kind of still like he's one of them legends I that think you kind of still. I look hope for. this one right here is one that we'll be waiting for. Like bigger and blacker. So. Yeah. I hope this is one that we're waiting for. I haven't seen Dave Chappelle yet, which I heard like you know we said like you said the, last week that that was amazing. The last one he dropped. I heard a, I read a story about Dave Chappelle before we get up out of here. He said that he took a person to his hotel room, and when she when he, she took her clothes off, he had a penis, right? Okay. Yeah, that was he that didn't was a he didn't have. Sex with her, him. Just say. I him. mean, he didn't have sex with this person. I don't like where the story's going. <laughs> sh- he let her them titty fuck him because he felt her the boobs were as real as they come. Are they were real and faker than all the ones in L.A. Anyways, does that make him gay? Absolutely. What? Wait, huh? Absolutely. Whoa, he took damn. a. He took. He took. I'm. I'm. Believe in a prostitute or somebody that he met to his hotel room. They was getting ready to get down. This person pulled their pants down. This okay. person ended up having a penis. He said, whoa, hold on. You got a penis. Okay. But <laughs> <laughs> but this person, this person had boobs. Big, huge. The big, boobs big. were big. I mean, the boobs were real, but they were faker than... All the fake ones in L.A. I'm guessing he was in L.A. at the time. So he let this person titty fuck him. The boobs was real on a man with a penis. Meaning, right. like, there's a there's a lot of people in L.A. with fake boobs. So it wouldn't matter anyways. So, so, so he let this person titty fuck him. I know what you're trying to say. Go ahead. Does that make him gay? Absolutely. He, yeah. let, he let the person. How did the person titty fuck? He titty fucked the person. Basically, yes. You well, saying he let the person titty fuck well, him? He, the so person now, titty maybe fucked him. Maybe he was shit. sitting down. If we want to be technical, maybe he was sitting the person down. titty fucked him. Does that make him? He gay? titty fucked the person. Whatever. How, however it happened, titties that, was fucking. There was more than one penis in the room. He's, he's gay. absolutely gay. Oh, uh, I was just wanted to know. I don't have a problem um, with gay people though. I well, now I don't now, either. Now I got love for the gay community. Dick talk. <laughs> I, I really hope that phrase doesn't make it past this week. <laughs> is, that, is that it? I hope that don't turn into a hashtag. <laughs> is that it, fellas? <laughs> oh, Bow, uh, Bow, uh, Bow Wow leaked a new kind of like single. It's kind of like. Ain't nobody checking for Bow Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, Out of My System is a fucking classic. Puppy Love is a fucking classic. And everybody knew when he started rapping fast on Bounce With Me, everybody knew that shit by heart. I'm not here for the bow wow. I'm I'm cool. I I just wanted to bring up that on the beat the 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 Oh, you were in high school when bow wow was hot, weren't you? Hey, I was in shit middle school. Yeah, no, I was out. So you I'm didn't like puppy love? You was not out. You are bugging. When was bow wow hot? Bow wow, he was like twelve. Bow wow, early two thousand, like three years younger than I us. I graduated in two thousand one. So bow wow, oh, shit, he was just starting to heat up. No. Yeah, he was. No. I, uh, it, I, I was know one of the, one, he did a video big, with some chicks. Big from, Mama, when Big Mama dropped. What year did Big Mama drop? That was uh, that was probably around uh, then, like 2001, 2002. Because I, I remember the chick from Vegas was in his, was in his, uh, she was in his music video. And everybody was like, oh, that's the girl that go to, I think, I, I think she be doing the Green Valley or Votech, one of those two. So I'm like, oh, we know her. I didn't know her, know her, but I, I, I saw her in Burlington. I'm like, oh, that's a chick. He got hits, video. but I, ain't nobody checking for him now. Not, no, nobody. The, like, the, lit, the lit thing I seen, the song sounded decent. It sounded like something I want to hear. Like, I want to hear it when it come out. Bow Wow, look, I was hey, a fan, look, bro. Out of my I system hear it. got me through a lot. Yeah, it did nothing for me. Puppy love. You know people. Was fucking. Know, you know amazing. people on the internet are gonna hear. If this, you right. did not know, if you did not know when he started rapping fast on Bounce with me, you wallet. Well, I didn't. I'm not. I wasn't checking. You tripping. I was never checking for what. Bow wow. Never. So you liked it. Did you like Romeo? Oh, 
Uh, with Snoop, you ain't like that. It's all right. Oh, oh y'all uh, bugging. Right. He had one. He had what? one song that was dope to me. That was um, rock the mic. Which, I, I, look, I, I did kind of like. Is. I did kind of like. I was a super so so deaf fan. So. I was kind of okay with Bow Wow. I was a so so deaf fan. Man, y'all are bugging, bro. bro. He had rocked him. And it was one song he did on the little on the album he did with uh Fresh as I'm is. That's no. with T.I. Nothing that's Bow Wow, but T.I. wrote that. Uh, well, Bow Wow ain't write none of this shit. The song he he had a song that on the album that he did with uh Omarion. 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 Let me. Slam. No, it was a song you. called Slam. A song called Slam. It was like Omarion, Bow Wow, and R. Kelly, I believe. Those oh, yeah. are the only two Bow Wow songs I can... We don't associate with R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hold you R. tight. R. Right <laughs> hey, man, Bow Wow had hits, dog. Down. Oh, one of them, shit. I ain't heard it in a while. I just I know it off the, the top of my head you... because it's a hit. Uh, that was Spence, everybody. You want to make sure you get his Twitter <laughs> information so you can talk to him about that. Fellas, is that it? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, we can wrap this up. All right, Fats, man, where can they find you? FT underscore Fats. Ivan, uh, I've been working. You know, the last episode I ain't have my shit together. I got it together. It's Young Al Bundy. Uh, that's Young Y U N G underscore Al underscore Bundy B U N D Y. Skinny that's Twitter oh, and sorry. Instagram. Yeah, you cut me off. For my something. fault. Repeat yourself, man. My young bad. Al Bundy Y U N G underscore Al underscore Bundy B U N D Y. Twitter and Instagram. Skinny, I just want to know why you chose that name first. <laughs> Cause Black Al Bundy was gone. <laughs> Cause I was when I first got my Instagram, I was married with kids, so I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be Black Al Bundy," but it was gone, so I was like, "Fuck, it, I'm doing." <laughs> oh man! Hey. Uh, I still gotta get my Twitter together. I will have it together next week. Uh, on Facebook, Skinny Junior is my fan page. Look that up. And you can find me on Twitter at Just Call Me Spence. That's without a T. Just Call Me Spence. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and, and write reviews, man, so we can interact with you guys, Absolute, our listeners. Absolutely. Beehive. Y'all see where the fine spence at, right? Oh, Don't and how fuck to find us me. on Instagram. Did we plug that in? Views from the 7 views on from Instagram. The seven. Uh, views from the 7 on Instagram. Is it an underscore? It's views from, from the, the underscore, underscore seven. 7 on Instagram. And then on Facebook, our fan page is views from the 7. Absolutely. So go ahead and look at that. Check that out. And you can get the link to our YouTube on there as well. Much love, man. Thanks for listening. We out. Beehive, get his ass.